Now I feel like I need to watch this whole thing. I think it did really well. If you've got a girl during a date already making plans for the next date, then you've done really, really well. Okay. It's not like, oh yeah, we'll talk after we figure it out. It's not like a blah, 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 blah. This is like somebody that wants to lock down your schedule. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my God. This nosedive so hard so fast. What's happening? Oh God. Oh no. God. Oh no. God. Oh no. Oh, no. no. The date of Mormons part two. So the play literally just ended. Oh, excuse me. Play just ended. Huh? Initial thoughts, play just ended. What'd you think? Um, sorry, I was focusing on what the camera no was worries. focusing on. You? Um. Oh. So good. So well, good. I didn't know that you'd heard the soundtrack before. Yeah. It seems like a giveaway then. Uh, there. I listened to the entire soundtrack uh, once, listened to my favorite songs a couple times on that. Uh, but they became your favorites if you listen to them more than once, though. Specifically, the song, I believe, was the song that I had listened to the most. You said that I was into it way more than oh. than, I thought that, than I thought that of someone who was Mormon would be. And why is that? Wait, are you allowed to show nudes on stream? Wait, was there something nude here? No, she just had erect nipples. What? Is that... I'm just asking in general? You're fucking retarded. Bye. Why would you even ask that? What do you mean? Is it okay to show nudes on stream? Uh, yeah, well, we took the elevator up, and then that's the... Yo, hallway, you want a hot take? Uh, down there that I'm gonna pit... Uh, okay, I'm gonna get... Some of you are gonna be on board with this. And you're gonna give me massive trues, and some of you are just gonna be brain dead. Here you go. Here's my big ramen take, okay? Ramen needs to have legitimately, like, a 75% reduction in noodles, okay? I... Or unless there are people out there that can eat 12,000 calories of noodles... Every time I get ramen, it was like a trillion noodles. Bro, nobody's eating that many noodles. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. It's so much. Fuck off. Give me more vegetables. Give me more meat. I don't need to sit here and chow down on 20,000 fucking carbohydrates worth of noodles. Okay? <clears throat> okay. And now the real children come out. The noodles are the best part. Okay. That's absolutely fucking false. Crowded oh, it's just crowded. Yeah. Yeah. He might have come out from like that. So, there's our fellow concert goers. Oh, uh, by the way, you have to be going soon, is that right? You, your, like, your wrap up time is. I was actually gonna, I was gonna make a proposition, um, well, I was gonna propose to you. Oh, okay. My, uh, another meeting, I do. Another meeting. Ooh. If you wanted I like this to, sound. if you wanted to, like, meet up, um, and have me for longer than, like, 20 minutes. I absolutely do. Then, more like an hour and a half, maybe, like, I absolutely on, do. And then talk about it then, after we've thought about it. Okay. Maybe, like, we can even, like, maybe have a little dialogue about what we want to talk about. Sure. Sure. Because I feel like there's a lot to process after something like this, and it's not like for me. I haven't heard all those songs. And I thought I you like had heard the. I thought you had heard the soundtrack as well. I had heard. I thought I'd heard all of it, but I definitely had not. You should get a view of how many people are here. Okay. And it's like how romantic. Of all the people. Oh. What? I don't know what here. the context is. Uh, oh. Flip around. Are they two Mormons that went flip to see the Book of Mormon? Yeah, like, well, because it says the date of Mormons. I was like, what the fuck does this mean? But they started talking soundtracks. So I was like, oh, wonder, maybe they need that, the musical. I wonder if uh, by showing these people, if it's, uh, can you get in trouble for showing people when without their permission? 
when you're God on. damn, this girl. Holy shit. Okay. Get, I mean, most of their, oh, she's cute. Only let, oh, my God. Them. Yeah. So, but there's the overview of the people that are, oops, uh, are still uh, coming down. Yeah. yeah. It looks like do it's coming down. We'll be able to go yeah, soon. Yeah, I was just going to see if you thought maybe we could. Yeah. So, uh, do, like, um, I'm so not do sure a real wrap-up. Is this guy an influencer or creator yeah. or something? No. So do a real yeah, wrap-up. Like, like an hour and a half. And like, yeah. I'll text you because. Yeah. Or you can text me some ideas. Because. I actually wrote some down. I think it would be interesting to get uh, your perspective and my perspective because. Like yeah, the short version. Uh, it's been four minutes and they haven't talked about anything. What the fuck are we watching? Current Mormon, former Mormon, our experiences, and so the majority of. I, I thought, because Skippy is a Mormon, Mormon. Like, yeah. you're, you're, are you a Cartarian Mormon? Uh, actually, no. That's fine. I was, and by you that she means uh, I do wear the G's. Yep. I, I would yeah. still classify you in my mind as a potential card carrying Mormon. Yep. I, I would yeah. still classify Our special sacred underwear like clothing. That I you in my mind as a potential card carrying He went viral in cringe cogs. You want to do, do the intro? Me? You want to say what up, Chad? Sure. Yeah. Oh, cringe, cringe. Okay. So, all of you? Yeah. The four pack of things and then divide up uh, the okay. uh, the buttons. That's a good idea. I, and I want the ones man up. Man up. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. So, can uh, we get the. Yeah. Okay. No. What's it? Keychain magnet or anything else? Go to the last no. two thirds. And I think Hashtag that I've. And I think that I've done a very I can good. Make a shout out to Okay. She is, this is what I get, because I have little tiny titties. Yeah. And she has the opposite. She's voluptuous, and she doesn't either. And so if you want to get either perspective, I have both. Well, and I think that I've done a very good job of not staring or looking that way. <laughs> Noticing, sure, I noticed. But didn't make a big deal of it until now. But you look absolutely gorgeous. I've... I've loved everything about you being my date tonight. I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping for the kiss and I'm not even sure if I'm ruining it now by even- Wait, uh, okay, I haven't watched anything before <laughs> this. So I could be missing context. The guy seems like he's doing okay. The girl seems like she's like not engaging at all. What the fuck? Or maybe, maybe he's already like ruined things before this or something, but. Saying that, but. This seems relatively normal. I, I think what feels weird is that it feels like gosh, we're just watching I someone's do. normal date conversations like, and they're talking to the camera. Maybe. Of not, I was hoping for the kiss, and I'm not even sure if I'm ruining it now by even uh, saying that, but... That's weird, don't I, say that. Gosh darn it, I adore you. Thank like, you there's... Thank this you. was so much fun. You were such a great date. I mean, I still can't believe that you paid for the things that you paid for on the date. And Independent women do that kind of thing. What's that? Independent women do that kind of thing. Independent women do, but not- Nope, oh, there it is. woman is an independent, awesome woman like you. So- You need to get out to Salt Lake City, Mom. You're, you're not like other girls. You, you, this is awesome. You are you're awesome. Oh, he's laying it on real hard. You are smitten with me. That's why you think that. <laughs> I am smitten, but I don't think I'm as smitten as you think I'm smitten. Okay, he's pulling back. Okay. Play like, a little I'm, hard. I'm okay, player. I'm 100% definitely in the category of smitten. About Mary. But I don't think I'm as smitten as you think I am. Perhaps, perhaps. We will never know. That's true. I think that if I was as smitten as you think I am, okay, that I much. would have been Chill. more aggressive. Like I played tonight really cool, didn't I? Like have it I been okay. up have I been uptight been... about anything? No, yeah, you're totally cool actually. Like I wasn't uptight about anything that happened the entire night, right? And I wasn't like super anxious about 
anything I, I don't know I think job. everything that happens kind of uh, I let I feel I did a really good job of letting the night happen oh and I'm on 400 West I'm parked on 400 West not 300 West okay and should you're we like, get the you're on. and should we get the shoes uh, when mm -hmm. uh, should I get the shoes no, and shirt right now. okay I wasn't sure or if we should wait until the next time so that you can get going on your thing. Should, should I reveal to you who I'm going? I would. I am definitely curious, but you don't have to. Or we can just reveal when I'm not filming that way. You know it's not on tape. Or I can just promise you that ask, it won't be. I can ask permission first. Ask permission. Is it Jack? Jared it's Jack. Jack. Jared Jack. Jack. Jared Jack Waters. Okay, there's a there's a pause, so that makes me think that that could be it. He's a stud, by the way. You're if it's like a maniac, you're being a maniac right now. This is the kind of shit. Wait, is she talking about another no date? She's it, going would on. You tell me no if it wasn't him. <clears throat> Just drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot, son. Just okay. Drop it like it's hot. Okay. 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 Oh, this is rough, dude. Okay. Any so how do so turned off by any of that weird shit? You guys can't do that. So how do we end tonight? We're coming up to get my shoes. It's not over yet. So True. don't get to the ending before you're living the present moment. Okay. God I'm going to live in the now. Please, God. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> how would you react to this information? Bro, when girls ever do this shit, usually this is going to be toxic. It's not going to work anyway. Anytime a girl's like, oh, yeah. So like I hung out with this guy and it was a lot of fun and blah, 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 blah. You have to be... <clears throat> you got to dig into the deepest, the deepest coolie you've got, and you got to be so cool. Because there are two types of people that do this shit. They're either hella autistic, and they don't realize like how like much they're goading you, or they're trying to get a reaction. So when a girl says some shit, fuck, I, I can't reveal it. Melina and I were laughing at these texts. A girl tried to do this to me like two weeks ago. When girls are saying some shit like, oh yeah, like I met this guy and he's so cool, blah, 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 so I don't know, blah, blah. Like the response is like, oh, that's awesome. I bet you guys have a lot of fun. Like, yeah, let me know how it goes. Sounds sick, right? You gotta, you drop it like that and you walk the fuck away, okay? Don't, don't ever give them the satisfaction of being like, oh, <clears throat> who is it? Uh, oh, do you guys, um, yeah, wow. Do, do you guys have a lot of fun together? Is that really, don't ever, don't do that. You don't want somebody to bait you hard like that, okay? When people start bringing up like other fucking people like that, then you're like, oh, cool. Yeah, sure, it'll be fun. Yeah, have fun. And then you just take off, okay? Let them chase, all right? Don't do, don't, don't play these dumbass fucking games where somebody's trying to like bait you into some jealous bullshit, especially on a date when it's not even somebody you're dating, okay? Fuck that. <clears throat> Thanks. Okay, so I'm getting from her my shoes and shirt and so she invited me up and in i asked her if i could use uh the restroom she said yes and then uh by the way as i'm walking towards the bathroom we've got tracy whoa originals on the wall oh wait i'm on youtube and it's on youtube we, okay we've got tracy prince on the walls and then oh uh, where's the restroom which way so oh, it's yeah. So what? It's organically grown, one an, picture at a time. Organically grown, one picture at a time. This theme. A themed. Oh. Yeah, enjoy. Oh, it's a. It's a Jesus, restroom. Okay, got the shoes and the shirt. to run she put on her tennis shoes so that she could run and I am just going to walk 
can run. Fuck, now I feel like I need to watch this whole thing. I think he did really well. If you've got a girl during a date already making plans for the next date, then you've done really, really well. Okay, it's not like, oh, yeah, we'll talk after figure it out. It's not like a blah, 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 blah. This is like somebody that wants to lock down your schedule, right? When they're like, oh, well, what are you doing next week? Like, let's figure out something right now so that when we're separated, we know when we're going to be together again. That's actually, uh, unless you're like going for like trying to score, or trying to fuck or trying to whatever. Aside from that, like, that's like the best ending to any type of <clears throat> like date encounter you can get is when you've already made plans for the next one. True. <clears throat> She's maybe doing that for the camera. Oh, it, maybe it's for the camera. I don't know. I don't know what like the the context of all the recordings and all this shit is, but. Wait, it gets fucking weird. Oh no. What a fun night. Oh, he was shaking. <sighs> like he seems upset. That is one cool girl. Couldn't she be doing it out of pity? No. If it's gonna be out of pity, then they're gonna be like, oh yeah, like call me after, we'll figure it out after, I'll message you tonight or tomorrow, we'll figure out what you can. That would be out of, they wouldn't like make another. I get well, I guess unless they like make plans and then cancel and like totally ghost you, I guess they could do that. <laughs> this video about to get crazy? Wait, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? It can't get crazy. It's good, he's good. Okay. Lawson Harrison donated the amount dollar five. Zero zero this video further convinces well, me that someday ugly people will be date. considered a protected class. And she said that we could call it a date. Okay, okay, Blair. You got a date, you did it. So all that's left to do is go home and, oh, there she goes. There goes Tracy. <clears throat> I think that was Tracy. So Tracy is off to go on a date. Wait, what? Tonight with a mutual friend of ours. Wait, Tracy. Tracy's the real stone cold player. What the fuck? She's just hopping date to date? Good for her. She's gonna be my wing woman. And I'll have to definitely take her up on that of getting her to help me. Oh no. Find a girl. Wait, something went wrong earlier and I didn't see it. <laughs> oh no. I think it's just the whole, oh. like she was telling him straight up, I'm going on another date after this. Mm -hmm. Tracy? He's upset about it. Oh no. It's me, Skippy. We just went on a date together. Oh, oh do I get to find out? Oh. oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my God, this nosedive's so hard so fast. What's happening? Oh God, oh no, God, oh no, God, oh no, no, no. Fuck. No. Oh no, oh no. Bro, what are you doing? It was you, oh my God, what's happening? Holy cow, hey, it is it's Dave Iba. What's going on, man? Dude. This is a high level situation in that Ladies and gentlemen, him, we talked about him tonight earlier on the date. This is Dave Iba. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Skippy? <laughs> man, what is Long going on? No Dude, and you oh guys met God. via uh, Instagram? Instagram, yeah. Wow. And she's like my neighbor, kind of. Is that right? I just live up by the Capitol. No kidding. Yeah. And you, it makes so much sense. You guys have so much stuff in common What with all the jogging that you do. Yeah. Oh, man. Why would... <sighs> Tracy. Tracy, you guys are a cute couple. You totally have my blessing. I went in for... A, I'm not sure if she'll tell you this, so I'll tell it to you. And I'll tell it on camera. I went in for a kiss tonight uh, in the... Uh, in the elevator, right? Uh -huh. With the camera off, it's trying to be a gentleman. And yeah, as the door was closing, camera was off and uh, got rejected. But uh, also, it, it makes sense because she's already given me a let's just be friends talk. But I was like, wait, so is mystery guy going to tell me <laughs> uh, who he is? But I'm, no, I'm totally happy for you guys. You guys make sense as a couple, don't get me wrong. Now, I'm not, we really did kiss. She and I kissed the one time. It was amazing. Yeah. If you haven't kissed her yet, 
Go you'll for it. you'll definitely enjoy it. Oh, Go man. for it. She's amazing. Oh, now I'm rooting for you guys as a couple. <laughs> and I should have been filming Tracy's face on that because... Uh... I'm just going to shy away from the camera now. Okay. Well, Tracy, I will see you next time. Dave, have fun camping tonight. Uh, thanks for uh, letting me... Oh, is it okay that I film you and uh, put you in the uh, video? Consensual. Good for you guys. Man, I like this. I really like this. Aw. <laughs> this feels right. This this is a really good way to end the night, especially after uh, how rough I made things with the elevator. Holy cow. All right. Uh, I'm going to shut up and go. Uh, yeah. Give me a hug, man. I, I will. For a while. We went to UVU together. Yeah, man. Ugh. You know what? I got as good I got as good of a hug tonight from Dave Iba as, as I, I got did. from Tracy. Any day, Steve. from any day. And Jack, I'm sure Jack Waters would also and, second that. And That's Vagor. Really bad, guys. He kept saying Jack Waters. I was like, well, you? I guess someone else first. Dark Shadow donated to say the who amount dollar five person, zero. I guess was, Make and then stop. Uh, my second guess, guess was one. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, and then, and then I guessed Jack, and <laughs> I hadn't guessed you only because the reason why I didn't guess you was because I didn't know how quickly you guys would have gone from uh, following on Facebook to going out but it makes total sense i mean like i know how athletic she is into running and i know how you've gotten and i mean like uh you know how like when you're in school and you're a <laughs> is, you know, this, is this guy an athlete i mean I'm, am i stereotype it just doesn't look the part to me but okay a sophomore the seniors are you know like after the, that you they both finish they're and... talking about him right what wait what after her and that the chad dude finish they're gonna sit there and be like dude that was crazy wasn't it yeah it was, that was yeah, pretty probably, crazy yeah all of the seniors can do no wrong in your eyes when i was at uvu it was like when i was a sophomore dave and jack and vagor were all seniors and so i <laughs> looked up to these guys and admired them to no end so we did red Shutter donated the amount dollar five zero zero stop slash 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 Podcast together. Yeah. Oh, is that a podcast? Okay, yeah. yeah. So, oh, this is awesome. Literally, I can see my car from right here, or it, if I could see through that uh, building right there, it's right That's there. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So no. Bad. No. So, I'm leaving. See you guys. Congrats, you two. Oh. I'm glad we ended the night on finding out who the mystery man was. I'm glad I didn't stop recording. Good for them. Good for freaking them. All of a sudden. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching and this video. And he's so positive Before at the end, even though it was really it, though, fucking cringe and weird. He was exercising some things. insecure demons. This yeah. date happened because... I met a guy the named Justin Burkhart, the amount dollar and to Justin zero Burkhart zero. was working for a band please. called... Wait, and he meets up with Tracy again? Awesome. Or I guess people tell me all the time. One chance fancy, don't let me down. What does that mean? Uh, every time you say the word He's fancy, the nice guy I think that treated her right. by Reba McIntyre. Here's your one chance fancy, don't let me down. Don't continue what you're doing. We went to squatters. Uh, experience. It's like, uh, 10. So Tracy, that was the end of date number three. What happens next for us? This is not the end of the, the end of the date isn't number two. This is the hangout. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, yeah, but uh, date number oh, three was last time. Walk and talk, walk and talk. Walk and talk. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. All right, Tracy, thank you. This was a blast. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to everyone that's been watching these things. Uh, say hi to Dave for me. I will. All right. Bye, Skip. Have a great night. Let's head to Dave for me. my friend Tracy. What are we doing here? Skip, what's the plan, man? The date ends in kind of a And then he walks around the back sad, of the building and she walks way. out with another guy. And... Okay, so... <laughs>
fresh and fit live stream two weeks. I'm on fresh and fit tonight. I'm going to Miami. I'm older than couples on TV. Together for all this time. You so, should. Yeah, hell yeah, Don't we are know. with our big booties. Like, bop, bop, bop. Bianca's gonna get one soon. Give her three months. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she's like, oh, I would not never do that. I just, she's she's climbing. She's climbing. Do you want me to try and get a talk with him? I, I, August, I love you. I just don't know what we would talk about. He'd come on and be like, hey, what's up? I'd be like, hey, what's up? And he'd be like, well, what do you want to chat about? I was like, I don't know. You got pretty funny YouTube videos, right? He's like, yeah. It's like, date coach Destiny. How's being Mormon? Yeah, I don't know what we would ever talk about. August, get this guy to come to LA and we can, we'll do one week on Tinder and we can follow him through some dates. Now that would be fucking content. Holy shit. We could do date coaching. Okay. He'll either be a Sigma Chad God by the end, or he'll strike out on every single one. And then nobody will God. listen to me when I talk about dating or relationships anymore. Oh my God. That would be a fun challenge. He lives in LA now. Oh shit. And before Hassan gets word uh, that he wants to do this and scoops him up. No chance, his ego's way too fragile. Yeah, then just... Yeah, guys, hey, listen, got girls, focus, please. B, thank you. Go over. We gotta get on air very soon, guys. Yeah, and then, yeah, Ben has to leave, so... Yeah. Okay, so, grab your microphone. Let's go. Press you right here. Mario, you right there. Yep. And then we got the defense. Do we have an extra mic? Uh, you can just put it down because somebody's right there. Oh, sound, sound good, right? Uh, yeah, I just unmuted all the mics. You should be good. <laughs> okay. the that was perfect. I love that. That'll get like the most view. That'll oh, get the most likes easy. you've ever had. Okay, so we're not. No one needs it. Here, I'm gonna take this yep. down. Actually, no one can. Uh, I'll just have to screenshot that later because right now that's Facebook Live, but I'll turn that off whenever I was just going Facebook Live too. Oh, it looked that. fun. <laughs> okay, I've got to. Uh, really I've got to turn this off because they want uh, cell phones, guys. Uh, sorry. Bye. You actually see it there at the bottom. Sorry, Skip. Uh, get the fuck away from me. What is this? Blood watched the whole thing. Oh my god, I'm gonna move right now. This shit is comedy. Oh, he gone. He leaving. He's leaving her. Oh my gosh. Fuck you. Oh. Damn. Damn. Oh. He love her though. He love her. Look. Come back. Come back, bro. You gotta come back. Oh, this nigga. <laughs> uh, get the fuck away from me. Wait, what did he do? Oh, he gone. He leaving. He's leaving her. Oh my gosh. Fuck did you. Did he duck? Oh. Damn. Damn. Oh. He love her though. He love her. Look. Come back. Come back, bro. You gotta come back. <laughs> oh, this nigga. <laughs> uh, get the fuck away from me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Here is the podcast if you All right. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast, man. We're here with Skippy. Woo! Of lovely ladies. Yep. We got a great show planned for you guys. Let's, Let's get, get into it. it. Okay, you got something uh, going on there? Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. <laughs> all, right. all right, so, Skippy, yeah. right? Another question for you. Yeah. So, why? I don't know any of these people, and I already feel like I hate all of them. Why? Could somebody tell me? Is it, was it the intro? Was it, is it, like, the name of the podcast? These, they just, they feel like every person in here, except for our boy Skip, just seems like somebody that I would fucking hate. I don't know why. It's an in-person panel show. I remember the last phrase I said, nice guys finish last. Yeah. Do you feel like you're too nice to sometimes to women that kind of, they kind uh, of take advantage or no? No, because uh, honestly, I think if you were to ask some of the girls that have actually gone on dates with me, I'm, oh, I'm uh, too hyper with it, right? Like I'm too anxious and over eager. Like uh, when I find a girl that I like, it's like a dog uh, chasing a car, right? And if the car were to ever stop, the dog would just like 
bark and then get bored and go away, right? Wait, who in chat earlier said this guy's literally the Joker quote? If he found a car, he wouldn't know what to do with it. Someone in chat literally said this. Right? And I think mm -hmm. there's just that Poopy part ass, where because I haven't really had success in relationships, I'm constantly the yipping dog instead of like, hey, oh, let the car go. It'll come back around. <laughs> One day you can go pee on the tire or something like that or have sex in the vagina if it... <laughs> leads to marriage i don't know i don't know I, the way to I, say that's this what i wanted analogy. to ask you is that how are the you gonna analogy are you goes? gonna wait till marriage or? yeah that's what i'd like to do but yeah uh, that's pretty but awesome. please understand and we haven't uh we haven't asked about this here we did i think uh, before but let me just say this i'm a virgin that's pretty awesome is it <laughs> do, do you really feel that way <laughs> what We haven't uh, we haven't asked about this here. We did I like to do, but uh, yeah, that's pretty but awesome. please understand. And we haven't uh, we haven't asked about this here. We did I think uh, before, but let me just say this: I'm a virgin by choice, and not just because I'm uh, Mormon. I really, really do think mm. that no one should have to have sex before they're ready to. And since uh, you know, since I was like a kid because I was Mormon, but even after that, mm. I just felt like hey. I think mm -hmm. because I've always dreamed that like, hey, I'll have sex with uh, when I my first time with my wife. Right. So that way it won't be about like the heat of the moment, but it will be because we like each other. Right. But, but what if, too but many what if people she that have sex because they have to. I don't like I can't I mean, I couldn't do that. Like, no. I, like you have to be going to bed if, on a, or in like in order for a relationship to work. So what if she sucks in bed or you guys don't have like chemistry in bed? Well, I would say that I would say what if you get married? I, I counter that with what if you get married just because of looks instead of because of personality, right? No, uh, I, but the sex can suck. You can have a good or a bad personality. You can be you can be super fine and have a great personality, well, and, but not have chemistry. But well, but also isn't isn't there a whole profession of people to help you work on that, right? To show you how to get better at lovemaking. So like, yeah, uh, but a connection you can't. They can't do that. Like there's there's people that have like real connections in bed. Chemistry, you know, like, yeah. like chemistry. Can't fake chemistry. Hey, I you can have good sex with someone like amazing sex and not have chemistry like but i think i would be shortchanging myself if i had it just for the sake of uh because everyone says like you gotta try you and feel before you, you get married <laughs> everyone says you wouldn't buy a car unless you test drive it yeah I but i want to have that. i want to be i want to buy a new car right i, I want to have a car with as few miles on it as possible yes, that's oh, what I'm gonna and also you. that i'm in love with right do you, do you expect your wife to be a virgin too no no i i think that you don't think was, that's gonna bother you no when i was in my early 30s like my uh wait what What? He said when I was in my early 30s? Wait, people are saying this guy's 43? Yeah, like at some point, yeah, he's he's fucking old. There's like two parts to that. Number one, damn, okay, damn. But number two, damn, he looks pretty good for 43. Oh, it does say 43-year-old virgin. For 43 and like being chubby or whatever? I think he looks, that's impressive. It could He could be... Way harder at that age, okay? It could be way, way, way worse. So Homeboy isn't bad looking. Yeah, at all. for sure. For 43? Absolutely. This guy could have passed for chubby late, late 20s. Like 28, 29. I would have believed it. Early 30s for sure. From when I was like 21, getting home from Michigan on a mission, I thought I would be married by the time I was 25. And 25 I think especially the voice does it too, which is maybe not the best thing. But. Came in, I was like 27, no doubt. You know, and uh, the older I got, the more I was like, holy crap, am I going to, is this ever going to happen? And I was thinking of it the wrong way. And now I think I've got a better perspective of it. And I think that's why it will probably happen within the next five years. And if it doesn't, yeah. I can't be too mad because as long as I'm starting to improve and get better, which is something that I hadn't really thought the previous five, 10 years about, you know? I mean, I think that's pretty cool, yeah. but I just, I, I But don't I know what you're that saying. That is, yeah. oh, no, I hope I have really great yeah, sex yeah. too, but I also know me, right? Yeah, and but, what, know. but it's not gonna bother you that she slept with other people and you haven't? You don't think that's gonna like, after you no. have sex really bother you? No, because really? uh, like uh, I'll I, be like no. <laughs> like, I know my I know my personality, and I think that if a girl is willing to uh, take on all of this, uh, that she'll probably be like, hey, uh, let's talk about sex and 
uh, if we like it. And so I don't think I'll marry a person that has that we haven't fully had that conversation yeah. uh, first. And if that's like a big deal for her, or for me, it won't happen. And so then we probably won't get married. And so that probably won't be the person I lose my virginity to. But yeah. it's also uh, girls that I've gone on dates with that uh, have like been married before and had kids. It was the kid that let me know that they had had sex before. And I want to be a dad one day, so I don't mind that. I mean, like, yeah. I really like it. And for girls that have kids, I hate it when guys say, oh, she has baggage. Because that the term really uh, give annoys me. Oh, give me a hug me. right now because I have three kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But baggage annoys me just because it's like. I've I, never, I've never said, like, had a man tell me, oh, you have baggage. Like, I, when, you know, I've never had a problem finding a man, keeping a man when I've wanted to. Well, they say it <laughs> online in comments. But, but yeah, I, yeah, I hope you don't ever have that. And no, I no. don't want to. But I, I, I know that a lot of people sure. say, look at, like, single moms like that. Like, they have baggage. But okay, yeah. I have a question awesome. for the panel. So, ladies on the panel, right? Let's say Skippy was going to be your ideal guy and you <laughs> wanted to date him, right? The fact that he's a virgin, would that bother you? No. Oh, good question. No. I'm going to no. start here. No? Thank you. Thank you. And why? Because I know nobody else had it. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on. Yeah. But hold on, hold on. I'm mad territorial. Hold on. Like, but but hold on, Cardi. Hold on. I know what you want. You know <laughs> what you like. You know what you want. Yeah. What if you don't get it? Wait, time out. Theoretically, you said he was my ideal man. So in my no. head, he got everything no, no, no. I want. I do, as in like, <laughs> you, you, you decided, you know what? I'm a be with, I want to be with him, but there's only one caveat. He's a virgin. Is that okay? That's not a caveat to me. So you would train him? Ain't nothing wrong with teaching I think, I think sex, thing. like, you know, woman makes the sex. With the, look, if you're willing what? to learn no. and satisfy me and you really? have everything well, else, I don't know. I don't I don't know. Why <laughs> not? Look, I've, had, I've dated people who weren't that great for me sexually. You can't expect everyone to know what you like or what you want. Sometimes I'm going to have to teach you a little thing. Just hopefully you don't use what I teach you with something else. Right? <laughs> Which <laughs> they will. Yep. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I'll Do never date again. Do you patent your moves like uh, like a year later? It's like, <laughs> dude did this to me, and it's like I taught him that. Well, you see, they so call him that the Cardi. I mean, if if the girl is on some like you know petty shit and he <laughs> moves on after me, she's like, yeah, girl, that's why I got him like this and this and like that. I would be like, mm, I hope you think taught you that. <laughs> okay, so you're sticking on virgins, fine, cool. All right, what about you, Red? I'm gonna say it does bother me because. I would feel like it'd be hella awkward, and I don't, I wouldn't enjoy awkwardness. That's fair. But oh, you're a great hi, guy, though. I am Skippy. I am a walking, talking awkward. I consider myself to be no, not I the understand. king of uh, cringe, but uh, maybe the... No, okay. not cringe. He's so cute. Not at all. <laughs> like uh, the court jester of cringe. Yeah, you know, like... You got something. that. Oh, no, really. Yeah. yeah, it's just anxiety. Okay. <laughs> Bianca? Yo, when I want, when I want my oh. dog Hero... Oh, here. She's so cute. I can't hear that, but why do you keep saying that? Stop it. Okay, Bianca, go ahead. I, I would definitely say it matters. Yeah. It does. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Daniel? I, I wouldn't care. If he was, like, my, like, perfect ideal guy, I wouldn't care. But, you know, you need to make a lot of money. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Daniela, because you said... Oh, uh-oh. You oh. said... Uh-oh. I don't think, I don't oh. think that's, that's, like, okay, but I wouldn't mind, like, you know? Like to marry, yeah, to right. be with, not to like just have sex. So you know? if but the man like marry, told you he was a virgin, <laughs> if he made you, the I amount of money, you, the Daniela. amount of money I require, the like you know, it's like literally my perfect match. I wouldn't care because it's my perfect match. You know, I'll teach him everything. But I, I, I use like I'm really big on sex, so I need my man to know how to have sex with me, a hundred percent. So I would have to teach you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Afterwards, you'd walk out like, oh, my God. You'd probably stress over it for a good week or two. And then probably like, all right, <laughs> maybe. Nina? I would love it because we can be virgins together. <laughs> like a virgin. Man, don't get out of here. We can pop each other cherries. Where's the blue cap? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I was hoping. Dark Shadow Realm wait, donated where is to me on Are they, Is Zero this real? Zero in a twisted, weird way. Doesn't he kind of look like Bosch? Oh, maybe. Wait, it. Am I crazy? Is what real? Or is this Photoshop? Hold on, I can't tell. Look at this girl's quads. To this. It, it, wait, is this a real thing? I, these legs do not look healthy. Something is like it's like she has two tumors. Where's NNN at? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
What is happening here? That shit's healthy as fuck. What? And by healthy, I mean I could use a healthy dose of it around my face. This looks like she like hopped on the fucking like leg press and adductors, and that was the only thing she did for two years. These things are huge. Her whole like good girls, bad girls, and squats for days. Th I, there's no way this is real. I can't believe it. Her knees look like they're about to cave in. Yeah, holy shit. I mean, that is absolutely real. What do you, is when it? you say not I, the, real? Yeah, looks, look at the purport. These quads are. This is huge. These the, are the rolls massive. over her knees. That's a lot of attention to detail for a photoshopper. Like, I mean, I I think that's pretty real. Link me more. We're gonna go watch. Hold on. Yes, please link more chat. Wow. Oh, she's got, unless she photoshops a lot, I guess she's got more videos. Jesus, what the f Oh, wait, hold on. There's no shot that's real. Guest is a dumb fuck. Well, hold on, she's got a lot more. <laughs> Guest. <laughs> Her calves are not proportional. Yeah, I, I don't understand how, like, just this one. Genetics, man. Sometimes people get like that. There's workout videos. Is this in pounds? This is 95 pounds. I, dude, I don't know if I believe this. Something's going on here. Where is NNN at? Something's fucking. The resident fact checker. Is NNN like a, a weightlifting god? No, he's just, he does weights, but he's not retarded. And most people that do like lifting stuff are <laughs> stupid as fuck, but he's a pretty smart person. Wait, what is what this? About his How long pigs? ago is this? This is two or three years ago? Oh, even in here, she's like starting. Is this, It's gotta be like, it's gotta be like an injection. Or something. Okay, hold on. Find me like a, um, powerlifting squat girl Instagram. I feel like their legs aren't like this, like disproportionately exaggerated. Hold on, I don't know if I don't want to like run into some crazy shit. One second. I don't think I I've ever like seen quads that are that here. pronounced before. She puts in the work, baby. But maybe. Pineapple brat. Wait. Oh, I have to like log in over here to see more. God damn it. I want to see like, like lift numbers and shit. Different girl with massive quads I follow. 180 pound female power lifter. Yeah, like this looks more proportional. This girl also, I don't know if this is, <laughs> I don't know if this is a so nanny. I, this is scary, I'm not sure. I went through a phase where I, um, I'd have to find the pictures, but I went through a phase where I, ugh. Fuck. Sorry. Died. Wait, hold on. Are these uh, real? Can you have abs this defined at this point? Oh, body yes. Fat? Yes. She's she's real and she's natural. I know people who know her. Yes, she is real. This is insane definition for a woman that also still looks like pretty healthy. That's all yeah. lighting, is it? I mean, lighting helps, absolutely. But no, the bit, mm, the chick is ripped. Okay, this looks more reasonable. Jesus, okay. She's fucking hot. Can someone link the Pikachu chick? She has the Pikachu tattoo on her thigh. Okay, how did we get down this path? <laughs> I mean, this is the path we don't need to veer from. Cringe virgin dude is lesser than fucking hot rip chicks. Hold on.
Hmm. Here, I got one for you, Steven. Okay. No, dude, there's no way. I don't believe it. This is some this is some fucking synthol shit that people use to put in their biceps. I don't believe this. This just I don't. I'm not believing it. I'm sorry. I'm not believing it, guys. I'm I'm just not believing this. I'm totally not believing this. Oh, yeah, where is Canute? Remind me the next time Canute is on. We're going to ask Canute, okay? Destiny, Canute. My name is Canute, and I know about the booty building. Like, she's not even lifting anything, right? It's not like she's not even, like, moving a lot of weight. How can her legs be that huge? I don't believe it, dude. There's no Check way. Check this one out in chat. There's no way. There's no way. That Natasha chick. Natasha chick. No posts yet. Good one, Lycan. You just doxed wait. an innocent person. Oh, wait. What the fuck? Oh, I deleted the underscore. Hold on, I'm sorry. I was trying to shorten the link because it was a derp link. Low weights, high rep make way bigger muscles. That's like... Of all the things you can say about gym shit, that's one of the few things that is just absolutely not true. <laughs> all right, there's, there's the right one. Okay. Damn, this person is super shredded. But even her legs are nowhere near looking. I, like, I think that this looks like way more proportional, her legs here versus versus the other girls. Okay, we'll investigate later. Okay. Look at that one up. Go go up a little. Sorry, I know I'm behind. Um, the one where she has the weights <clears throat> sitting on her legs. Oh, you close it. Never mind. Fuck off. I can't. I have to like log on. You're wrong about high volume customer hypertrophy. There's no way that past 20 fucking reps. Nobody goes to the gym and just like 30, 40 fucking rep lifts or whatever. I, I don't believe you. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure it's like 10 to 15 is like your max fucking range for shit like that. And then people will argue between like 5 and 15. High equals 12 to 20. Yeah, the highest I've heard is like like 15. Like 10 to 15 is like your... And then people will fucking argue on bodybuilding and Reddit all day if like there's five rep build more strength or hypertrophy and then people are like, oh, 12 is for max hypertrophy, not strength or whatever. But like once you're past like 15, 20, you're into some... You're doing cardio. Like you're in a totally different world in terms of what you're working out. Not that that's bad or anything. Do you see Bad Bunny tweeting your DGG logs? Oh, nice. That, everything she's tweeting is fake, by the way. <laughs> Dude, this tweet is my favorite tweet. And he's still misgendering it. <laughs> Dude, I can't. I, this world is too much for me. I'm not much longer for this world, guys. I'm sorry. I, I'm not too much longer for this. <laughs> the it thing really fu fucking blows my mind. Like, it's not like you're reclaiming. Why? Because you're transphobic, Lycan? Just say it. No, sir. I'm not transphobic. I am so pro-trans that I won't allow them to start trying to adopt it as a fucking pronoun. It's dehumanizing. And stupid. <laughs> I uh, have been collecting belly button lint for the last- Okay, we're done. Sorry, you lost, Skippy. That was too much. <sighs> but I wouldn't have to do this, but- <laughs> What? He can pop my chair. The only person that told the truth really was Bianca that it would bother her. The rest of <laughs> no, no, red, red too, red too. Red oh, all right, oh yeah, okay, red said to <laughs> bother, yeah. Well, in all so fairness, so it should be a red flag. If, if I'm being completely honest, I, if I meet a guy that's a 43-year-old virgin, even if uh, he like, even if we've known each other for a while, I still look at the other dude and I'm like, oh, okay, uh, what's 
not wrong with you, right? But what's going on with you that that's the case? Like, I, I swear on my life, you guys aren't going to believe this, but I have friends that uh, are in their 40s also. Like, I am oh, one of probably complete. 10. Wow. Wait, hold on. Oh, God, are we going to? I don't want to do this. Sorry, Stephen. I competed at the top level on stage in bodybuilding, but my 27 years in the physical culture industry, all reps stimulate. Tissues not got eyes. I just growth from an eclectic approach. Okay, why don't we all get mad? How long do I have to walk to get massive legs? How long do I have to walk to get huge quads, massive hammies, big ass fucking calves? How long do I have to walk to do it? Like what? Obviously, like your intensity and your workout matters, right? Like the, the amount of exertion that you give per rep is going to be huge when it comes to the adaptive thing in terms of growing the muscle. You can't, you can't do like one rep like 500 times and expect that you're going to grow a ton that way because the type of adaptation that's occurring at that point, I'm pretty sure once you get past 20 reps, the adaptations you're looking at have to do with like removing lactic acid from the muscles and like getting like thicker capillary beds and shit. You're not actually needing like more muscle fibers or recruiting more muscle fibers. You're training like your fucking cardiovascular shit. It's like endurance training at that point. How hard was school for you? Oh, oh God. Well, I don't mean from like I'm an ADHD so perspective. What I mean is like, you seem to pick up a lot just from uh, gleaming over some material. Oh, sometimes. Just enough to think I know more than I do, you know. Yeah. I drew cross country and while top runners have pretty big quads, they aren't even close to the size. Just doing more running isn't going to get your massive quads. I thought cross country runners, aren't they normally like stick people? Am I wrong on that? I feel like I've looked at cross country runners when I was like younger and they're like, these are some small people. Runner doggy out there. Team. Outdoor, you know, it's kind of hard to move. And so like, these know, are not. <laughs> this is a history run really well. Pac 12 was a great victory. He looked pretty smooth and comfortable at the... Like, I don't think you even want big range. muscles for cross-country. Because the, the muscles aren't helping you. And your um, and, and any amount of weight that you have at all is going to hurt when you're doing, like, distance running, right? Like, even a few pounds is going to be a lot after fucking running for 15, 30 miles. Soccer players have huge legs. Yeah, but soccer players aren't cross-country runners, right? They need explosive movements, right? You, so you probably are training. Those guys probably lift too. That would be my guess. Any any athletic event where you're doing explosive movements is going to involve like some time in the gym and like a demand like for actual like muscles that are, can, can respond explosively to situations. Biking seems to give people bigger legs. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes biking can be hard on the legs, I guess, but it's not like, but even if you bike a lot, you're not going to get huge quads from it unless you're like, do, maybe doing like a lot of uphill biking or something, but this is 100% true. Then why do bodybuilders get way bigger than power lifters, but are far weaker? Because I don't believe that. First of all, one, bodybuilders are not weak, okay? This is like a meme on Reddit with like, oh yeah, bodybuilders just build for shape. They're very weak compared to powerlifters that are fat and so much stronger. Okay, that's not true, okay? Bodybuilders are strong, number one, okay? Number two, um, the training thing is, is different between like bodybuilding and powerlifting. When you're bodybuilding, your goal is to like do... I think there's generally a lot more isolated movements. We were trying to sculpt very particular looking shapes and muscles. And like, that's your goal for what you want to look like. And that's all you train. Whereas power lifters just want to increase like their big lifts or whatever they're competing in as much as possible. It's like different goals for what they're looking for. This is why it's have a, hard to have a conversation with you because 90% of this shit you fucking know. So Not it's like, time. you can just find something I don't know and then hammer on it. <laughs> yeah, that's feel. the trick. <clears throat> Yeah, there's also potentially performance enhancing drugs. And then my, I'm going to guess that to even be a bodybuilder, there's probably going to be like a high amount of like, you, you either have the insertions or you don't, and you're never going to do it. That, that's my guess. Um, uh, okay, we're...
Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. For top level competitive stuff, like Olympic athletes or top esports people, do you have to be genetically gifted to make it? To, at the very, very, very top, probably, yeah. At the very top, for sure. Because it's, it's every, every little bit probably matters at that point. The age that you start at, how genetically gifted you are, the support you have growing up, like, yeah. Oh. Virgins in the 35 to 45 year old range that I know, right? And I, sw and I swear that's true. And some of them are really uh, like successful, uh, attractive guys or whatever, right? But I'm telling you, I think that uh, you also have to understand that where I come from in Utah, and if you have friends there from Utah, they'll let you know, like, yeah, it's a thing that they do. I guess it's kind of like a, a religious thing, but it is a red flag, right? There's got to be reasons, because even I look at my friends, I'm like, okay, well, the reason I'm a virgin still is because I've lived up, you know, I lived in mom's basement until I was like 38. If I mm -hmm. had not been living in mom's basement, if I had had like a successful job uh, and been like, uh, skillful at things, I would look at myself and be like, why the hell am I still single? I'm 38 and I've got all these things. And I would probably uh, go do something about it, right? Okay. At that point, because, but I don't want to push it. And I feel bad because I've had Scientific times where I've been aggressive cheese. with girls in the like too eager way, but it's probably come off as desperate and petty and stuff. And I want to get rid of that, right? I want to yeah. move uh, you forward, must. but yeah, you it's must. a red flag. You Being must. an old virgin is a red flag for things. Okay, got Sorry. it. Question even learned. if you're not so, for, sorry, even if you're not 43 honestly if you probably came to me and you were 26 really? and a virgin i would I still be like yeah i i like you honestly i think you're the only person that i've ever met yeah. after i was a teenager that's a virgin and i met a lot of people would you like no, no. to come to you I, I live in kansas city so i i know the midwest the, 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 nobody was a virgin then so skippy yeah. skippy you could just sell your virginity yeah there you go make a shit of no. money why why no. give it away to a girl that's gonna treat you like crap Ooh. <laughs> no, i want to give it to the person i married for virginity. But, yeah. but Nina. he said he's waiting till what he do you remember that chick who auctioned her virginity? Oh yeah, whatever happened to her? I have no idea. It's a good Scientific point. Let me Google. Breakthrough achieved. Marriage. Do a New study on phthalates causing early death. Just really, I have no idea what the fuck that is. A group of chemicals used to make plastics more durable. Oh shit. Uh oh. You always pay for sex though. No. Okay. Oh, no. Hold but, on, hold on. But there's Real some quick. rich Real gay quick. guys somewhere <laughs> out there. No, but Real I'm quick. sure like like yeah. rich women would. Yeah. Real quick, um, super chats and admiring. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, okay. Uh, so so uh, Ostrike, twenty bucks. In case Skippy needs someone for the club, thank you so much, Ostrike. Awesome. Uh, and then we got Elijah uh, awesome. Tickborn. Skippy, check out Sterling Cooper's escalation course. <laughs> and then no, we, got uh, some stuff, we got some stuff to work on. Work on before that. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, let's see here. And guys, thank you so much for all the donations, man. We appreciate it so much. Uh, we're 10 bucks enough awesome. from here? Yeah, okay, so I'll guys. read the ones that came in from before. Uh, again, uh, we got uh, Zake's movies. Skippy, if any of those girls wanted to sleep with you, you would do it. Stop the cap. It's okay to admit. I've just been failing at it. Help me, bro. Okay. Uh, and then we got uh, uh, Pina. Again, we must protect Skippy. Stand your ground uh, okay. all the way from the UK. And, uh, uh, yep, and we read it. So, yeah, man, we got the whole world in here. We got Saudi Arabia, yep. Australia, Europe. Um, Shout uh, to Rio so, uh, X815 as well. Lady, stop the cap. Wow. You can say all you want that it, it would be cute and all, but you would keep it moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't say that. I mean, the they did say it's a red They did say that. Yeah. Uh, Sean Muhammad, uh, one of the. Oh, Marcus one, Walker. The ladies on the panel, please let him saute 43 years. Just imagine. <laughs> okay? And then anything. Oh, Marcus Walker, 20 bucks. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Ricky Mills, I want to bust Nina's pineapple. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Get in line. Like, Get in line. <laughs> I'm oh, sure. Me first. A lot of people me do. First. Uh, Nina, what's your what's your Instagram real quick for the people? My Instagram is Nina the Pineapple, and I also have an OnlyFans if you want to see my pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all the ladies' uh, IGs are below, guys. Um, feel free to check them out there and send your dick pics there. So, uh, so okay. Myron. Yeah. What's up? I want you to think about what every, everybody said, mm -hmm. and give Skippy a piece of advice on that topic of being a virgin. And what you think is right in your experience. As far as like wanting to be, I mean, it comes I, down to your personal preference. But my biggest thing is uh, if you're a virgin, it needs to be by choice, not yeah. by, by, but Skippy, let's be honest, bro. You, you ain't a virgin by choice, bro. Ooh. No, I am because I've actually had uh, chances. You've had what? I've had three chances. Three chances and yeah. you chose not to sleep with them. 
No, I, uh, I very, I knew that it was coming, and I, okay, you guys watch uh, the movie Forty Year Old Virgin and look what at it as a did? comedy. I look at it and say, oh, that's such a relatable documentary because mm. it really is. Because I swear that scene where he. Uh, is with the girl and he gets nervous and then kicks her in the face and blood comes out, right? Like, I was with a girl. It was starting uh, to get to that point where... Don't like snitch on yourself if you kick the girl and she bled. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah, snitch on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, uh, but, like, I was like, okay, uh, I don't want it to go that way because... If I'm just being blunt, I was there to grab boobs and leave, and so I. Uh, oh, you've done stuff. And so I went into, Oh yeah, I didn't say that my hands were virgin. I, my, uh, south of uh, south of the desk is a virgin. South of the table is a virgin. But uh, right. yeah, no. Uh, well, and I guess my hands because I didn't go inside. Her. Anyways, uh, the, my whole point. I don't know. I lost my point. I'll shut up. Okay. okay. Uh, it, all I'm going to say is... Had personally, I, had I don't think you're a virgin by choice. I think you're a virgin by, I guess, Force? Re reality. Yeah. By, yeah, okay. you're, by, by, you know, you're, I think you're involuntary celibate right now. Uh, by but I think you have the, okay. definitely the potential to get girls. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um, it's just, you know, we just got to improve some things. And here's the other thing. You said that you're, like, uh, looking for a woman to get married, whatever. Are you actually actively pursuing that because if you want to get married you, you're gonna to have to put in like work to find a woman and better be. I would argue that finding a wife is gonna be far more difficult than finding a girlfriend because finding a wife you're gonna to have to screen her even harder than a regular girl that you're gonna casually date and then see mm -hmm. if she's worthy that's My a great point and the short answer is uh, you're right I'm not right but uh, I also look at it as uh, that that's like me first... saying I want to get abs, but I'm not going to the well, gym. Yeah, well, it's uh, first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby and baby carriage. It's not uh, first comes love, then comes the baby, and then we dated for a while and then decided to move in together and then tried marriage afterwards, right? Because I look at it as a step process, and you're right. Right now, I'm not uh, looking to get marriage only from the perspective that I finally realized that I want to... Uh, that it is a better process and that I'm not just thinking like, oh, hey, uh, I'll date, I'll find the right girl and then we'll just figure it out somehow. It's like, no, I probably should be stable and have a job and not be in tons of debt. And so I'm not going on tons of dates right now, not because I don't have the internet to be able to ask girls on Tinder on dates, but because it's like, okay, crap, I... Uh, need to get this stuff in line. You know? I actually love that because you know I think it's good. Like a man needs to have his shit together before he takes a girl out. To help. So 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 uh, okay. Dating losers. So I I respect your your choice. You know, sure. feel me like you want to be a virgin because it's your choice. You say so. Sure. So you're saying. Yeah. But that being said, at 43, right? Yeah. Why is your life in shambles? Right oh, now, uh, I had gotten addicted to opiates when I was in my Jesus. 30s, mm -hmm. and it. Uh, led to a depression that, uh, can we say the word suicide? Uh, I attempted this suicide. Is, delete. It delete. will say self-deletion. Yes. Because yes. YouTube, YouTube flags that oh, one. Yeah. If you say it once, it's not a big deal. But yeah, self oh, just yeah. say self-deletion. Okay, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> it was that, and it wasn't because I was a virgin, right? It was because I was, uh, it was because once I decided to quit opiates, I then was in that like, oh wait, opiates made me happy and not what have to that? think about how it I was, was uh, in what self are, what are, at the time. Uh, what are op right? uh, opiates? Uh, pain pills? I don't know. Yeah, pain pills. pills. Uh, Painkillers. Yeah, painkillers. I have. Oxys. I get kidney okay. stones because uh, I drink Mountain Dew and I still get kidney stones. But uh, even if I didn't drink Mountain Dew, I would still get kidney stones. And when I had them, uh, they gave me pain pills, and I was like, "Holy crap, these are awesome!" And then I stayed on them for like seven years. And so I've now been uh, three. I'm four years clean uh, this coming October. Nice. Awesome. Good job. Because I. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Uh, but it was super tough, and I think though that I was on the opiates to be able to uh, not deal with the fact that I was as big of a loser as I am. And so like as I'm, but you still want to date. That's the thing. Like you're even, not a loser. You're well, not yeah. a loser. So, you know, I, awesome. <laughs> I was living in mom's basement. Let's be honest. I was a loser. Yeah. But that's okay. Uh, it's okay because my attitude of changing now, and I think that you are completely uh, right with the whole process that you have to go through and do it. And the thing that sucks, though, is that, like, I still really like girls. I still want to go on dates, and when I find a girl that I have chemistry, my body and mind still want to go to a kissing and making out and grabbing boobs thing because that's what I've done in the it's past. It's a natural process. It's a natural feeling. Yeah, but I don't want to get married because I, like, uh, I don't want to have sex because... I don't want to ruin what I've been wanting, right? And if you have a goal, and also it's the whole idea, I don't want to rush it. And I, do, I don't want to regret it. And I 
think that everyone out there should not regret the time that they lose their virginity. And if you do, and I've never heard someone say, oh man, I really wish that I had lost my virginity when I was 11 because all my friends were having it when we were 10 or something like that, or even 15 or 16. I think most people say, oh, I wish that I had waited until I was ready. And I happen to be one of those people that's wanting to wait until they're ready. I, it's just been 43 damn years because I've been a loser and haven't uh, done the things I should have to be a man. You know, I've been a beta and I'm working on. I mean, at least, okay, wait, 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 wait. at least you know why you're not getting what you want. Yeah. And you know what you need to do to change it. That being said, though, yeah. you said you, want, you, you don't want to solve the moment or make it bad. At this point, bro, it's been 43 years. Mm -hmm. You could definitely, you know what I'm saying, enjoy it now because... But we could die tomorrow. Jesus. You're gonna have yeah, to use Viagra I... by the time yeah, you're ready. Yeah, because because dude, like time is ticking, bro. Like normally I would say for, for yeah. guys, <laughs> you know, at some funny. point. But it's real. You know, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll talk. You. But that means really. you, know, you can get into they shit. They use Viagra because you know they're used you can, to it. You, you can get better yeah. over time. Okay. So no. uh, you can work on it. You can work on it. Uh, Wait, you you got a point? Yes. Um, I want to make the point that. The only reason you are a loser is because you say you are. And I think yeah. that's what your belief that you're a loser is what causes so much, you know, anxiety, anxiety yeah, because you think you're a loser. So you have to fake that confidence to you make it. That's true. You know, because it's also attractive to be confident. That's true. Dude, yeah. Yeah. Guys, it's your reality. I have an idea. It's all a mindset. Can I, I have an idea. Uh, Nina, really then, uh, and then, uh, Cardi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. Nina. Let's give Skippy a makeover. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's oh, God. Don't do it. Let's do it. Do it. Mm -hmm. All right, Cardi, okay. Listen, I wanted to ask, have you ever tried dating someone who practices the same religion as you? Because you seem like a very traditional... Like, oh, yeah, in Utah, that's mostly what it is. So have you tried talking to a girl that is that's in also the same Mormon? practice? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, like in Utah, uh, I would say 70 to 75 percent. And when I was a teenager, it was 95 to 100 percent of the wow. girls that I would go on. you got to understand that growing up in Orem, Utah, which is a super... Cool place if you happen to be a white Mormon kid. Everyone that I knew that wasn't white, wasn't Mormon, probably had a way, way, way uh, tougher, tougher time than I did. And I'm not saying that in, uh, I wish that things had been different, right? Like, and yeah. especially now, I really wish that I had been around people of different uh, groups. I mean, like, I honestly feel as I'm sitting here, like I am oh, in a casting no. session of like a, VH1 show, right? And that all the girls and oh, the guys, God. right? And that they just slip me in Careful. as like a decoy for something like that because because everyone here is beautiful. And I wanted to just say, you, you guys have been like you super. I feel like I'm on an episode of, of is it BETV, I think, right? Nice, also. Yo, Bianca, your face is killing me here, Bianca. Wait, does that still a thing? Does that still exist? Or is it just BET, am I? <laughs> Big face is killing me. I'm having You're not a such decoy. a hard time. <laughs> no, this, this is, is so, so much fun, sad. though. This is so sad. Like, I'm... I'm sad. I'm mm. <laughs> for you. Wow. That's not you good. need to have I'm that. I'm having a great time. You should be having as great of a time as I am. Yeah. Aww, so. That's not good. I'm just... Yeah, I just feel so bad. No. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Uh, I, I can... Jeff PD donated the amount dollar five zero. I think he had just I think matched he on Tinder. One of them. Just realized she's wearing a Hassan shirt and pick. They're hot enough for that not to matter. Got any funny pickup lines? Nice. Maybe make money as a Jesse Plemons uh, look like. Do you guys have the photo of Jesse Plemons on? T no. Okay. Anyways. Guys. Uh, the guy <laughs> okay. from. So we got a video to, to react to with one of your dates, but before that, super chats real quick. Yeah, I'll read. Uh, okay, so we got uh, Scott Wiro here. Uh, he could learn from Coach Greg Adams, hashtag Coach Gang. Shout out to Coach. We saw him in California. He's going to actually be here, guys, in October. Yep. Okay, uh, so we're going to do it. We're long overdue for another interview with Coach Greg Adams. Shout out to him. Shout out to the Coach Gang. Uh, okay, and uh, who else do we got here? Uh, da -da -da -da. We're going 10 and up, by the way, guys. Your Appreciate all the donations. Awesome. All your super chats are going to be brought up. Uh, we're just going to read 10 and up just so we can continue on with the show because we got a late night show as well. Uh, Chris, we, we last one we read was Pina. Uh, shout out to her as well. Oh, uh, do do uh, um, Let's see here. In before Skippy, RP Rage post divorce. Watch out for him and teach him after, boys. Yep, and, and Mig Tau. Uh, and then we got Matthias uh, Fagian. Uh, Skippy is holding his frame and not letting no one change his beliefs. Mad respect for that, brother. Okay, and that's why you, why you, hundred fifty dollars. I don't gotta figure out what country that is. Okay, um, then we got twenty bucks from uh, King Smalls. Thank you so much. And then we got twenty bucks from y W R Y D D A. If step, it's step daddy season and Skippy is looking. <laughs> <to be higher. laughs> Yo, Skippy, uh, be careful, man. The vultures are circling. Okay, twenty five bucks from Mr. Markle. Thank you. Uh, thanks for coming on, Skippy. The rational male is our Bible over here. Okay. And then we got Rios X eight one five. 
Ladies, stop the cap. You can uh, say all you want. That will be cute and all, but you would keep it moving. That's very true. <laughs> That's, That's true. why I had the hat on no, earlier. That's true. And then Buster Bisharp, uh, Skippy, you may not want to hear it, but you need to start working out. It will change your life physically and mentally for the better while also improving your chances of attracting a potential wife. Absolutely. True. Okay. Uh, I, um, uh, all right. So we got a video to rea react to here. Uh, Wait, Fresh, can you tell them about it? Before we get there, though, uh -huh. uh, just real quick, what do you think, Skippy, is your biggest issue when you deal with women? Is it because... You just don't want to even get to that level where it could happen because of your beliefs, or is like you feel like maybe you're being too conflict. needy in in the situation. But it, it's uh, what they've been talking about of you've got well, especially what Red said of you've got to love yourself uh, before you can do the things. And because I've uh, been a uh, and I understand that uh, I'm not a bad person, yeah. even if I'm not successful, right? But wanting to be successful, then you kind of chasing. Uh, your mind the fact that like fame or this or that will bring me happiness but it's like okay well one of the reasons why I want to become successful at YouTube is to be able to have the funds to be able to feel like I'm a man that supports himself and that I make more I've literally never made more than like $15,000 in a year my entire life right like I'm currently on food stamps because the first six months of the year I didn't have a job I've only had a job now the last couple months partially because of COVID and mm -hmm. uh, things like that and in a dark place that I was in until H3H3 H3 helped me out last uh, November, but I mean, like, hold on, I, I'm overcoming hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, a lot of stuff. Yeah. So your, your main issue is finances, you would say? Like, uh, like the, just, feeling like a success, like, though, right? Like and money is what, yes, feeling like a man that can provide, but not just uh, provide for another girl. I want to be able to feel like I can provide for myself mm -hmm. and get a girl incorporated. And yes, I want to go on fun dates, and I can still do that at this point, but I'm also thinking of, like, okay, if I go on a date and it costs this much money, that's yeah. money that I should have spent on bills and so i don't know <laughs> Jeez. what do you say on the, sh on the show all the time become the best version of yourself yeah, right you yeah up. what why is that man th there's so much to unpack here bro like yeah, yeah, let's react yeah. to the video because i don't even want to <laughs> yeah there's there's okay, a okay, lot okay. to unpack here and we're, yeah. we're uh what what's what um can you tell them about the video one last thing oh, okay go ahead what inspired you to start your dating series on your channel dating girls Oh, uh, when I was 24, uh, I went on a date with a girl that MTV uh, was going down to town asking what you do like on a Saturday night in your hometown. There's yeah. this girl from my church group, and MTV uh, filmed it, and I put it up on my uh, YouTube channel, and it got views, and uh, I don't know. It, all of a, it, it hit right at and it went from 5,000 views to 80,000 views, and I thought it was, like, the coolest thing ever. And then when I would go on dates with girls, I would... Uh, bring a camera and if they would say yes uh, we would film it and then I would try and put it on YouTube uh, didn't have like an editor just me doing those things and I refer to them as docu dates right <laughs> like document your day yeah, yeah. and uh, it's been super fun and some of the reaction is good from people and other people think that I, I literally have a comment on one of my videos that is, uh, that says this dude is worse than Hitler and it has like a hundred and fifty likes or uh, if I were him I'd kill myself and it has like 200 <laughs> likes right and I'm like I laugh at that, right? Because it's like, I know they don't know me, right? But I also understand that, like, okay, well, maybe that, though, uh, the fact that people are watching and that's fun. And I feel like if it gets views, then it's weird to equate that with success because views isn't success in life. But my hope was that it would then build my channel and that uh, monetizing it. And I didn't start monetizing my channel until literally this last November. And so now uh, that I'm making $150 a month on YouTube and hoping to build uh, my subscriptions from 30 He's to 50, getting his money 000. up. If I get to the point where I make more than, uh, what is it, like $1,300 a month uh, off of YouTube, then I can start being a YouTuber full-time and I could uh, work less and do YouTube more. But if I don't, and if I do what I'm doing uh, with people with uh, autism, that's fine too. I'm feeling like a success that way. I just thought that it would come through YouTube or that I'd get my own reality show, but I'm not a virgin because of it. Like, my channel is not Skippy the Virgin. It's I am Skippy Six because I want to get married. I want to have kids one day. Yeah. I'm not doing this Situation for the show updated. aspect. And I think all these girls are great, but we all know that we're not right for each other. There's not a single girl in here looking at me as I'm their soulmate, and nor is it going the other way, right? And so don't get me wrong. I would love to, uh, if I was in the point and we were dating, see all of you naked in a way, <laughs> but I don't want to marry anyone right now because I'm not at that point, and I would have to talk to my bishop and stuff, but that's besides the point. You get one. <laughs> right. I right. hope that that um, comes across. When we leave the show, yeah. give me your YouTube and I'll give you a shout out.
So yeah, you're not That's in a true. position yeah, to true. handle a girl right now, yeah. and you know that, which is fine. Yeah. But once you get there, you want to have a wife later on. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, yeah. So this video is. From which the one past. are you guys choosing? This is the one when you did it. Um. Oh, they're reacting to his stuff. Oh no. The girl, uh, her name was. Uh, Don't say Tracy. And just out of curiosity, what do you do for work right now? Nothing. Uh, uh, YouTube. I work with people that have autism. So okay. Yeah. So like, uh, like, like a, a mentor, like, we uh, do activities like. At like a home, like you work. No, with... uh, we do it out in the community. Uh, pick them up, and then we'll do like uh, volunteer work on Mondays, uh, Tuesdays. Uh, we uh, usually watch a movie, and then we have a couple different activities. We've gone to the Utah State Capitol, the Utah State Fair. Is this a job or is this straight volunteering? No, it's a it's a job. Okay, and it's how, a job. How much do you earn from this job monthly? Uh, do I? Should I say? I don't know. I uh, you don't know how much. Well, you earn? no, I do, but just like. Uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah. Uh, let's talk about finances. Well, I mean, you, made, I mean, you just said you've never made more than fifteen thousand dollars a year, so I figured you were open to speak about. Uh, yeah, that. no, that's true. I mean, uh, well, no, okay, no, 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 no. Just if telling you how much I make uh, per uh, hour oh, at my function. job. Uh, I'll just say that um, I just say it. between YouTube and my job, let's I make it. about twelve hundred dollars a month. Okay. Nice. All right. Yeah. Okay. That was Good. more than me. Yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I had um, the Grant Chick -fil -A? Car Cardone uh, interview, oh, okay. it was $100 and YouTube is a yeah. week. So it's water fresh. Yeah, sell, sell the water. Okay. So I, I can relate to uh, Skip, Skippy a little Skippy bit. Skippy needs an OnlyFans. <laughs> no, I'm just but kidding. <laughs> that being said, though, Skippy, um, this is the video when you dated Paige. You took her on, on, on a date. Okay. And um, tell us how you met Paige. Paige and I went Chris. to UV. I went to okay. UVU. Oh, man. And you know what? Paige is a girl like you guys like you guys would love her to death right because she's like this crazy hot girl that was at uvu and because i was like uh this funny guy in one of uh her classes and stuff like that and she was yep. dating a guy that was uh always out of uh a jock huh uh, i'll be honest with you i think that she was always dating like uh like big black guys right and <laughs> because i'm not big and i'm not i'm not like bbc buff. nigga he's black enough you can say that but also jesus i'm not like buff and and i think so i like i only met one of the guys but she had uh so every time prior to this date that i had asked her she was dating someone and the one time that i caught her in between like relationships and stuff i'm like are you dating anyone she goes no and i go so does that mean that you're free to go on dates with like five foot eight guys that look like Philip Seymour Hoffman. And she's like, yeah, I suppose we could go out. And I happened to know a place and uh, we went, and this is before YouTube would let you uh, put videos that were longer than five minutes on. I mean, like this is clear back to, I went to college when wow. I was 27, almost 28. And so this would have been 2006, 2007. Skippy, yeah. just do me one favor. Stop calling yourself a loser, okay? Yes. Just yes. get on. Yes. 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 That's the first step. Stop doing that shit, bro. That's, true. All right? yeah. That's the first step. All right, step. video. Uh, and before, before yeah, hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the I'm, numbers real quick. And by the way, you're awesome. Yeah. You're, you're awesome, bro. You're freaking you're amazing. amazing. I, I but you, you got a lot of work to do. A lot of fucking oh, yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Before we play this video, guys, I'm looking at the numbers real fast, and we only got 2,000 likes. So, we guys, as you guys know, we took a little bit of time off to go to L.A. to network and everything else like that. Get some stuff set up for you guys to have some hot content, some uh, fire content. Please do us a favor <laughs> and like the video before we play this goddamn clip because we need the engagement up so that we can get back up to 400,000 for the third time and then <laughs> and then also hit 1 million subscribers. So, guys, uh, we're not going to play this video until we hit 3,000 likes. I'm looking right now we're at about 2k and there's what 4700 you guys watching right now on YouTube. So, we need you guys Come on, to guys. like Look the, the video. video before free, we react man. to this goddamn we'll video right now. Like so, it. what are we at right now, Chris? I'm down. <clears throat> we are two, two, five, eight, eight likes. Okay, we need another 500 guys and we're going to play. Because the thing is, like I said, we need to get the engagement up. Engagement oh, shit. is the name of the game Guys. on YouTube. What's up? They said if you get the legs up, they'll shake their booties. Oh, oh shit. Daniela and Nina. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> on on Skippy? I'll, I'll make it clap for like 10 seconds. There you go. Okay, there you go. So get us up to 3,000 likes, like video, guys. Man. I swear what? this feels just like a podcast, telephone get where you we're guys, like We talk about money, getting girls, getting in shape. Yo. We give you guys everything. This is a one-stop shop. Yo. All we need is likes. You guys don't my niggas on money. Twitch. Just like it. Sub as well, man. Amazon Prime is free when you sub to the channel, man. Shout out to y'all. And yeah. So switch out real quick. Go right, no, hold on, hold on, no, no. We no? ain't going nowhere until we hit three thousand. I hate being and like this. And you better this, hit three thousand because I gotta 000, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So guys, three thousand right likes, now. man. We're at two point eight right now. We just need two hundred more. 
And then we're going to continue on with the show. It's very easy, man. Right. Just hit that Let's like button. Let's go, guys. Come on. so good at YouTube. Like, I swear, I love watching you, you gotta, guys work. you got to force the force the engagement, man. I hate to say it like that. Yeah, but you know what it is. It's awesome. Uh, okay, we're at what? 2.9? All right, cool. One, 100 more likes, guys, and we will continue 3K, on. Yeah, what was that? We hit 3K? Yeah. Perfect. All right. Cool. Lit. So, All right, we okay. got it, guys. Video first. Let's watch Your the video. Are awesome, also, yeah. by the way. Video first. Thank you guys so much for support. It's a matter of not doubting yourself. And then, um... All right, let's go. Don't doubt yourself. So this is part one of the first video here. You got it. So we'll right. play this and then twerk and then you can leave. <laughs> cool, so go ahead. All right, uh, so today is uh, March the 23rd, 2009. See? And I, Scott Skippy Jessup, have a date with a hottie. <laughs> Her name is uh, Paige, and she is absolutely gorgeous. Aww. And uh, I'm supposed to meet her here at the school so at 1.30. So we're going to go out to lunch. It wasn't just for we're us. going to eat at, my hearing at uh, Rib City because I have a coupon there. there. Mm -hmm. And I just lost my the job. So it's helpful for me to be doing uh, dates that are inexpensive for myself. So uh, we're, we're going to do it. I'll, I'll try and get her on camera. camera. This girl is really, really pretty. Like, uh, too cute, cute for me, pretty. pretty. So, uh, wait. Here, here goes nothing. I'm going to try and bring it. Whatever it is, I'm bringing it. And uh, let's make some magical moments on the stage, shall we? I'll bring you along with. Why don't you come with? Okay. Here we go. Okay, play part two. Play now. You can just play now. Okay, so here she is. She's getting in the car. Please don't tell me you're recording me here now. Right now, yes, I am. That's uh, Paige Clegg. So... I've decided that uh, now what I'm going Jeez. to do is I'm going to uh, video journal our <laughs> Pause, pause, oh, pause. I and for anyone that said that this is not real, this this is real, right? Oh, it's 100% real. In fact, the thing, the reason why I thought that, uh, and you guys brought it up earlier of the whole uh, when starting to record dates and stuff, right? Because when I was on that tiny reality show and it was the first uh, video, it's called Skippy and Love. It's the first video that I put on YouTube, but then I shared it with as many people as I could because I was so proud that like when I was 24 and, I, and right there I'm uh, 28, maybe 29, um, I was like showing people thinking like, hey, look, I was on this TV show and I was thinking that just being on TV could uh, impress people and stuff. So she had known that I had been on a show like that uh, before and we had talked about fun things and I had even said like, oh, one day I want my own reality show. And so I brought the camera knowing that she knew that about me. It wasn't like the first time that I had ever done that. And so I wouldn't have uh, put it up on YouTube, had, even though uh, she's like shocked there and stuff. And yeah, and if she had told me at the end of uh, the date, like, hey, I really don't want you putting this up on yeah. YouTube at all. She didn't think that 15 years later we'd still be talking about it, but still, uh, I wouldn't have uh, put it up. And you know, awesome. you know how I know that this is real? What? First off, their first, their first impressions when you show them the camera, and mm -hmm. secondly, their faces. Like, you can't fake that. Like, yeah. how she reacted. You, you can't yeah. fake. You can't fake those those reactions. So yeah, I mean, awesome. Can't we okay. Uh, play the um clip, uh, Chris. You absolutely can. Uh, but the okay. echo is. Let me see. The cameras. Oh, this. Is, well, look at this as kind of a video camera. It's not the same as like. There won't be like. No, I hate the cameras it. more than I do. Okay. Why? You are so ridiculously cute. You should not hate things that prove to people how cute you are. Oh no! Did you really mean him? Oh, that, uh, she's looking at a picture of me with the prophet of Mormon Church. Uh, and yes, I really did meet him. That's like actually a picture that proves it. So. All right, uh, so we're going to go eat some food and uh, chit some chat. And we're just going to bring the camera along to kind of uh, be our friend okay. there, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of you, you look great. Thank you. Yes, you look great. <laughs> okay. And, and by the way, well, no, I'll uh, ask more questions as we're actually there and we've got some time between when okay. we order and when the food gets there to chit the chat. Okay. Good times. See Pause. All right. Is there anything here you think you did wrong at all or no? Um, no yeah, way. This is that great. Moment there, that was a good intro, I think. Right. Er, not necessarily. Uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Ladies on the panel, tell me if, if you think you did anything wrong there at all. Yes, I think you should have let her know that there was going to be a camera. So yeah. Oh, that would have been one hundred percent yeah beforehand. That's true. I'm I'm shocked that he wouldn't mention that beforehand, and he would just like <laughs> let it go right at the start because you could actually kill a date immediately. I think most people would probably respond that way, like, "Wait, what? This is being recorded? Like, uh, I'm outie, dude. That's actually a huge weird thing." Yeah. She wasn't Before so the surprised. Date. No, that's true. <clears throat> you know, yeah. it's funny. I vlog my dates too, right? And that's what I do. I, before I even start filming, I'm like, yo, I want to put you on my vlog channel. Is it cool? Because that thrashing right there, bro, I could tell she had no idea that you had a camera. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, shit. 
Is that is that camera? It's off guard. So yeah. that I was yeah, like, God damn, upset. nigga, this shit has to be real, bro. <laughs> has to be. Sorry, go ahead. Anyway, any more um inputs? <laughs> I think that was the main thing that stood out only um yeah. i mean you have just give your criticisms just be yeah. honest because be yeah, yeah. yeah i would just i would hate to be recorded like that yeah. i'll be like the fuck <laughs> so for, first date he meets her what did he do wrong here in this scenario real quick i i personally don't agree with i mean this is your thing so yeah. i you know all just power to you it. but say i it. don't agree with with um being filmed on a date or at least on a first date um okay. yeah you know, you're you're really starting to get to know the person. No, it's more right. like intimate. It's more private. Um, and yeah, I think that honestly would probably turn me off if you put like a camera in front of my face. Mm -hmm. on did, wait, first day. question: Did you record during the dinner? Oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna see. Hmm. Well, in, uh, oh yeah, that's not that's not really a date. I'll be like the fuck. <laughs> I don't we're know. We're making content. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, think, yeah, it's like weird. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. In my small defense, I'll make this quick. I really do think that if she had said so to me, because I said, okay, well, we'll change. record more as we went. Uh, if right as and I then hit like pause, uh, turned it off for a minute. I didn't have it going for hours. It was, wasn't the kind of phone where you could do that. If she had said to me like, uh, "Hey, I actually don't uh, feel comfortable about this. Would you mind deleting it?" And I feel pretty confident that I would have shown this to her before I had put it up in uh, the bits on YouTube. Okay. And okay. So, but, but I, it's a totally but, point. I would be weirded out if a girl showed up on a date with me and said, "Hey, Skippy, so I'm recording you and our date the entire time." I'd be like, without talking to me first. Yeah, that's and, and it's a very fair point. But just just to be uh, devil's advocate here, you don't think she was being like nice? Yeah, she felt yeah, bad. Can I, I, I her think face was kind of like, yeah. oh, no, no, I'm not saying that that, that, that she might have been like cool with, it, but I'm saying like she's kind of like, all right, I'm gonna just play along. That being said, though, I feel like girl that like, you actually like care about, you're definitely not gonna, um, you know, what I'm saying put a camera in her face. So I, and I know this is kind of like. A video so it's not really that serious but yeah well and i have had dates where i've asked the girls they've said no and uh have uh put it away and yeah. then i've also had dates where i asked the girl she said no and then and it's one of my most popular dates that's uh skippy and kaylee part uh one where like three minutes in uh she says like hey uh the whole reason why skippy i say uh, we saw this and she goes well and then we Feels saw like the song and I was like why weren't we filming that and so and she then let me film Maybe. from that point forward but right now I would have if I had seen that yeah and by the way your guys's input is great if I'm on a date with a girl and uh and I say like hey is it okay if I film the date before we even go I'm not just going to yeah. show up with it yeah. anymore like okay. that cool but yeah it's it's yeah, it, I got it's you. different because you said that she brought up, oh, well, you should have recorded that and stuff like that. But I guess that was a different girl, not this girl. No, she oh, didn't say that. okay, okay. Yeah. Um, different date. Then yeah. I would definitely probably even say, you know, if you had done that to me, because for this one, you sure. didn't tell her ahead of time. If you had done that to me, I'd probably be like, oh, like how you were saying, I'd be really yeah. nice about it, I guess. And I'd be like, yeah, sure, it's okay. But like inside, I'm like, ooh. No. Right. No, that's. Uh, you know? I should have been more sensitive for okay. sure. Yeah. Cool. So we got, we got our first take there. Okay, Chris, could you continue the video, please? Yeah, it's, it's like I'm, I'm mama so, uh, All right. Bear with us, guys. Uh, we don't but have yeah. Trey, so. But yeah, it's guys. A little bit, it's a little once bit again, man, if you want to see more of Skippy's videos, go to his channel. I'm Skippy. Go up to it as well. Support him. Thanks. But guys. it's just he's you know, you know what he's doing. He's showing you like his lifestyle. Okay. Taking them, them on dates. And it's kind of like. He's showing you behind the scenes, Scientific so I, I respect it. So that I know how girls think is like, yo, like, it's not easy, bro. It's not easy. It's different though, because wouldn't you kind of say that that's something that you do too? Since you said that you do vlogs for exactly the dates and but stuff like I that. I do it very carefully. Like for example, when I do these vlog dates, I know that chick probably isn't gonna be here long term because of what I'm doing. Like the girls I do, I vlog with, like, it's for fun because it can't be serious. Yeah, a girl I'm really dating, I'm not putting on camera. Y'all yeah. niggas will never see her like that Privacy. because because it's like. That's that's the chick I'm, I'm taking serious, but because it's for y'all on on the channel, it's like I have some fun, film whatever. But like, my girl, y'all not gonna see that chick ever. So it's like, ever. you know. But yeah, that's that's how I moved though. But um, and that's how a girl finds out if she's if you're yeah, not you just in her. out yourself. <laughs> you out well, of yourself. <laughs> well, well, I know no, cool, they they all know like I'm I'm single doing my thing though, so it's not like it's a surprise. But yeah. By the way, you're such a nice dude behind the scenes. Meeting your uh, sister and your nephew yesterday, you're such a good uncle. Like Aww, I, I love that yesterday. He is. Like, 
you deserve, oh, bro. You deserve all the hitting it that you're getting. <laughs> like every time someone says get, uh, so and so can get it. Well, you deserve the can get it so kind of because you seem like a really nice dude. You deserve uh, thanks, it man. too. I appreciate it, but yeah, it's not about me. This is about you, bro. Okay, so uh, part three. All right, so we're at the uh, restaurant now. Yeah. A lot of people like to do different sweet barbecue sauce, but we do have ranch. Or, yeah, we have ranch. That's what I like. What's your name again? Callie. Okay, so uh, Callie is our server. Okay, so, um, so we arrived at Rift City. Here, I'll get all three of us in. So we've arrived at Rift City, and uh, we have just gotten served our food, and uh, this is... What did you get? Chicken fry or chicken tender tender basket. Okay, and I got this, which I've been craving this stuff since the last time I was here. And um, so, anyways, we're here, and this is our waitress. What do you think of us as a couple? Great. Okay. Now, regardless of regardless of how much I did, you donated the amount of our five foot zero Skippy sounds like he would be an amazing wingman. <laughs> I mean, like, like, let's say I was to, let's say I was to give you like uh, a fifty cent tip. Would you? What would your still honest opinion about us as a couple be? I would say you're both. You're both really outgoing and funny. Okay. What are you say? I, I was using that as an example for saying, let's say I tipped you 50 cents. What would you think of us as a couple versus what would you think of us as a couple if I tipped you $10 like I did that day? Because I uh, told Tony, the owner, uh, like, hey, every time I come in here, especially if I have a camera for any reason, I'm going to like tip your uh, waitresses good. And I feel that most people that have had me as a customer, because I've worked uh, for tips as a pizza delivery driver. Yeah. You if you've been in the industry, you always tip well. And I feel, and I know I tip well. So just me saying the 50 cent thing, I know there's going to be a bunch of people that are being like, you douche. No, you, she shouldn't have liked you for that reason alone. True. If that had happened, but I was a good tipper and that was trying to uh, be fun and to get someone else so that she didn't feel like she was the only person on uh, camera for that whole thing. And I don't know, we were just, I knew that yeah. I wasn't I hitting it that night. We were just friends, you know, but it was hitting uh, it. super hot for the video. Friends. So question though, um, ladies, when it comes to tipping, right? Brian Callahan donated the amount dollar five zero zero because I'm giving a hundred percent. How important is the tip Situation to the waiter updated. from the guy you're dating? Is it like a must? Is it like if it's low, it's like what the hell? Is it high? Okay, I respect him. How is it for tipping for you? Like special. Tipping you is so important. Yeah, it's so important. And I really like when a guy leaves a good tip on mm -hmm. a girl, even if she's a hot girl. I don't see her as competition. What it tells me is that the guy is <laughs> sympathetic. <laughs> <laughs> That the guy has sympathy and respects hard work and he respects waitresses and that if I was a waitress, he would treat me the same way. Okay. The key is to when they tip the people that don't necessarily, because in my opinion, like uh, it's easy to tip your waiter or waitress, but when people go out of their way to tip the people that you know make a finite amount of money so they don't make as much as the waiters or waitresses that on a good night can make like five, six hundred in a night, but then there's that a uh, person behind the counter that's making their like $13 uh, and someone that offers like a couple of dollars to them. That's when I like look at a person and go, oh, that's really cool. And the times when uh, I, when I know that update. I have to pay my rent, I still will try and tip like a dollar or two here or there because it means a ton to them. And I always am like, I don't know, just Special I want project. to be the kind of person I want to get to the point where I'm as successful as like fresh and fit. And, and you people will. will say, you, and you people will. will say like, hey, that no, no, Skippy was no. tipping before he became successful. He has to make that choice. You can't say you will. He has to make that choice. I'm going to work for just it. Positive reinforced. Thank you. Hey, man. He, he, reality hits hard, though. But yeah, that's nice. Um, what about you, Car Cardi C? So, do you think mm -hmm. tipping is important? I do definitely, especially if you're on a date with someone, it's a good impression, um, not only on your waiter or, um, but the girl, because women do not like cheap men, you um, Don't sit on your wallet. That's, that's an old dating advice that anyone could use. So definitely the fact that you showed that consideration towards the waitress, um, a girl who's interested in you is going to note that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> 
Go. <laughs> okay. Um. The tipping question, right? Yeah. Okay. I think as long as there is a tip, amount doesn't really matter because I believe a person should be grateful for what they get. So on the <laughs> other side, what? you know, right? you can't like, I don't know. That's what I think. But at the very least, whatever you can type t- of thing. Tip 10%. At the very Type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. waitresses work so no. less Anything less than 15%, you're... Really? Yeah. No. Mm. 18% so and above. Okay. I don't care. If Unless it's like really terrible service. If it's um, raining and or if the weather conditions are horrible, even if the person gets it to you an hour late, it's uh, they're taking their life in their hands. I've driven on nights when the snow is coming down super hard and to get a 10 or even a 15% on that night feels like almost 0% no. just because when you realize how bad the driving conditions are, like 30, 50% on Going really horrible uh, driving Jesus. conditions. 50%. Uh, in my opinion. Right. Yeah. My opinion. Marin, what's your take on the tipping? Uh, yeah, I mean, y- tipping is earned, man. I know I know. some people say, hey, uh, you know, you should tip 20% no matter what. No, like if the server sucks, then, you know, if they're not like talking to you within five, like, you know, a few minutes of you sitting down, getting you water and all this other stuff, like tipping is earned, guys. It's not, it's not, uh, you know, just a given just because. So, you know, you should always tip 20, 25%. If the service is good, if the service is bad, then, you know, take away from it accordingly based on the service. Cool. Mm-hmm. Is my take yeah, on it. I, f- I feel like tipping, tipping is definitely uh, deserved and earned. But that being said, for me personally, like if I'm getting served food, I feel like, hey, I'm getting food brought to me. I'll tip definitely for sure when yeah. I can. But it, so. it depends definitely on the situation. All right. Okay. So because some way, some some servers are trash. No, no. Right. Right. We've, we've, met yeah. Yeah. we've met a few. Yeah, we've met a few. Some of them are trash. You shouldn't tip them. So they learn. Because here's the thing: they're going to continue to provide that terrible service until they're punished. Yep. Don't you know reward bad, bad behavior. behavior or good treatment, man. There you go. Uh, okay. All right. Super chats real quick, or yeah, yeah. some of them flew in. Super chats real quick. Yeah. So all right. What was that, Chris? Uh, finishes the video. So while I, I'm gonna get it together. Oh, okay. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. No, you're really. She's cute. really cute. Huh? Yeah, she is. Like very eyelashes. Would you be? And that might. If you saw walking down the street, would you be like, I get that, or like, would you be like, he's way lucky, or would you be like, she's way lucky? That's all. I was about to say. Yeah. That's a good answer. Yeah, yeah, no, two donated the amount, dollar five. Zero, zero, cat gets the literal cheat sheet to impressing a woman, which is as simple as tipping and still find a way to bitch about it. No wonder most of you are kissed less virgins on the wall. Damn. Savage. Brutal. Okay, I'm fine. This part you can make it to the music. Oh my god. Are you okay with that? Maybe you know what I'm I'll tag you with that. Okay, good. So, um, alright, uh, we'll move, we'll, uh, move on with the conversation. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we'll go back and forth. Yeah, we'll go back and forth. Alright, thanks, Shelly. That was Shelly. <laughs> so I'm gonna do with her. <laughs> so, I think, okay. Uh, Are yourself? Oh yeah, yeah. This is uh, this isn't bad. You guys, uh, they haven't seen. You guys have seen. They have not seen my really tough to watch videos. My really tough to watch videos. I don't even watch. There's one worse than this. Oh, there's. I, I've got a million worse than this. Oh my, my my very first uh, my very first day. I refer to it as the uh, Citizen Kane of cringe. That date that I went on the MDV filmed right, where I have Wait, the friend, is it on, your, on your channel. Yeah, the friendship and relationship date. Right. Wait, how long is it? At five minutes. <laughs> no. Yeah. Forget it, this then. It's mm-hmm. got music. It's got okay. copyright music on it though, uh, which is why oh, no, I can't. Mon- I, yeah, I yeah. can't monetize never it. Mind, never mind, never mind. It was called FM Nation. They put music in the background, so my channel. I thought was I was going to lose my channel, but they just took it down, demonetized it. I didn't. <laughs> oh, I never my, mind. Never mind. No, but it's really great. Okay. Okay. Uh, Twenty yeah. bucks, Mister Patana. Uh, Patana. Uh, pity sex is a thing. T T T T. Okay. Shout out to uh, uh, Twenty bucks from Chris Taylor. Shout out to Skippy and Fresh and Fit Marie, from Utah. Uh, Murray, Utah. 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 Marie, there you yeah. go. Uh, city strike. Maybe no, now women will understand how hard it is to be a man. Wait, who am I kidding? That's from Australia. The ladies. Not bucks. easy. Doctor Easy. Here's a ten for Skippy. Good luck, man. Oh, I uh, go. Ten bucks. Um, Canadian. Uh, the general. Myron, please don't let Skippy walk out of the studio without giving him some serious advice. This is a tragedy. I'd suggest to do it in private. 
uh 20 bucks mind blown watching this video has been the most motivational to me being 22 right now i don't want to end up in a similar spot down the line gotta work True. better myself today this was a very real wake-up call okay all right and then, uh, elijah tick uh tick born 10 bucks skippy if you want to blow up on youtube document your self-improvement journey yeah this will be great for you to inspire oh, so wow. many people. that's true i agree 20 bucks hey uh jaime reyes i'm uh, almost three years in on home confinement almost free to work out six days a week eat healthy sober i use tj hanley manscape only go to work and back virtual college and therapy i use my time wisely it's a mindset okay a good, mindset. uh fred ward 10 20 bucks keep your head up skippy Thanks, okay friend. Uh, 888, 10 bucks. I'm 19 in shape, got money, gotten plenty of uh, play, but still can't shake the opioids, bro. I promise you, you can do anything if you can defeat that. Get into fasting and stop feeling bad for yourself. Okay. And then we got, uh, let's see here. Can't believe y'all got Skippy just stopping by. <laughs> to show support and to tell fresh i'd absolutely fold you in smash bros keep up the great Yo, the sea bear the please C -Bear, dm bucks. me your friend code i will destroy you smash brothers i did it earlier to my friends on live dm me <laughs> earlier i'll do it to you as well okay be sway swaby uh how do y'all feel about having a panel full of men on with skippy to discuss discuss game like mr organic rolls mossy etc much love fnf fam Ooh. uh then, we'll see uh, we'll see we'll mark see. mansfield bwc i know you wanted to wait until you're married skip but I'll get with a lady before you do. What if you never end up getting married? Okay, and I think we're done there, guys. Thank you so much for all the support, Thanks, by the guys. way. Don DeMarco for all you guys. Good one. All right. All right. Uh, so there's two more parts in there. I never finished. Two more parts. Right. A minute each. Okay. Um, Chris, can you play the next one if you don't mind? Yeah, sure. Cringe pity kiss coming, I think. <laughs> oh, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. All right. So this is part four of the... Uh, of the series here, guys. And guys, now you know that it's actually real. Because y'all were like, oh, this is fake. Um, bro, bro, this shit is real, bro. Look it up. YouTube wouldn't let you put on videos longer than five minutes back in 2009. There you go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I can just continue. Fade Vision donated the amount Valor 500. I will destroy all these virgins in Smash Bros. Wow. 1v1, the final destination. Or may you cox. Good one. So we're here at uh, Rib City, and look, it's our friend Mark. Oh, yeah. that's my documentary maker. Mark There's a documentary called Sunday Skippy. Documentary. Yeah. Hey, brought his camera. camera. Oh, another man. Oh, I, I got a question. Yeah. Why do you bring a guy on the? I didn't bring. I didn't bring. Okay. Uh, within a year of this. Uh, he saw me up at Sundance. That's the other thing. Uh, my I'm micro slightest famous for uh, meeting celebrities, right? And he saw me up at Sundance a couple of years. And one year he said, hey, has anyone made a documentary about you? And I said, no. He said, can I film you? And I was like, hell yeah. And so he filmed me, made a documentary called Sundance Skippy. It's actually on my uh, YouTube channel. He directed that, right? We were sitting in the restaurant and he was... Uh, heading to something and I was like Paige that guy like looking through uh, the window because I'm facing where the windows are mm -hmm. I saw him walking and I was like hey want to meet the guy who made a documentary about me and grabbed him and uh, we're talking it wasn't like I had said hey it would be a do me a favor and I, I have done that when I was on Virgin Diaries I had a buddy of mine come uh, serenade that was the yeah uh, so having so, a friend so, serenade so, so could you just say to him like oh, good, way worse good seeing you this. brother we'll catch up Okay, Paige, back to you. Yeah. But okay. Why you is it tell, he's a really, really nice guy. Like, he had to stop the last video to let you guys know he didn't tip 50 cents. He tipped $10. Special you know? Project. So I don't think he's the type to be like, hey, buddy, don't sit down. It's nice to see you. No, he's going to invite you. You're just, like, really, really nice. Don't feel bad for him. No, I'm not oh, okay, feeling bad okay, for him okay. at all. No, as long I'm, as it I'm doesn't explaining come from... why the guy is sitting there. Okay. Okay. Why he couldn't be like, oh, yeah, bye. It was good to see you. Like a move. This guy is like too nice of a guy. He definitely didn't want to Where smash. he would not kick this guy out. Yeah. Wait, did, did, uh, his is, is Mark, right? Yeah. Did Mark get her, get, get her phone number or no? No, 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 no. Cause, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I was wondering, like, yo, did Mark, like, yo, what's, what's Mark has like? dated girls as hot as her or hotter. And I think that, uh, and I don't know. I, I okay. think that people can tell when they're like, oh, Cool, props to you. And I think he knew exactly that she was one of those girls. Well, you can just see us, uh, that she's way out of my league and that this was probably a pity date for me. And like, hey, I'll come say hi to my friend, but I'm not going to stay long and then go. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure this doesn't leave with the three of us leaving there 
it, I think it was uh, just like a chance encounter, but I haven't watched this video in years. Okay, uh, I got you. Anyway. All right. So, um, Chris. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to keep that uh, right there. And then we found out that uh, Rogue City doesn't like people uh, filming inside their place, so we've got to shut this off now uh, soon. But uh, So Mark came over, was going to film us, and then um, uh -oh. when he came to getting food, what did he get? He got the exact same thing as me, because this is delicious. Um, how would you say the date is going with us so far? Like, if I wasn't here, would you still think this is good, or is it good just because? That's a very good point. That's a very good point. There you go. And see, here's the thing, though. They're sitting across from me, like they're the ones that are on the date, which is really weird. Maybe I should be sitting closer to my date, but that's okay. <laughs> this is not what it looks like. They are not on a date. It's me and her that are on the date, not them two. So, yeah, he's a ghost. So, all right, for fear that we get in trouble, we're going to turn this off right now. But, uh, yeah, still on the date, still going well. I'm really enjoying it because this is my view. Hello. And see, it's see, it's herself that's glowing. It's not that light. It's like the natural yeah, beauty that is uh, Paige. She looks so cute while she eats. Doesn't She's looking really cute for a person to eat. This is she doesn't even have like it, it, that. Ooh, that's disgusting. He's laying it on a little thick, a little much. I should have shut up your mouth. Look, it's like, wow, she looks hot when she eats. Yes. And she's really good at conversation. I don't want this to be all about her looks because, as I've told her before, I in fact, I want her reaction. As I say this, as I've told her before, if she gained fifty pounds, I would still like this girl. She's Jesus that. Christ! All right, bye. The kiss? <gasps> no way there's a kiss. No, it, it's not. A okay, so we just got done eating. Mark went his way. We're now uh, about to uh, drive home, so I'm being safe right now. We haven't actually started driving. Yes, um, that would be very unsafe. Yeah. Uh, the food, how was it? Delicious. Mm -hmm. It was very good. I'll probably come back again, actually. Yeah, you should come back with me again some other time. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay. Do you think we'll end up going on a date dose? Oh um, man, we're so desperate. Maybe when I get back from California. When are you going to California? Um, either this weekend or next weekend. Oh, okay. Oh no. So, yeah, it doesn't have to be like tomorrow or something yeah. like that. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We got. Oh crap. Uh, she's oh, got to be in class. That's but that's, that's thirteen. Like, that's thirteen like, minutes fast. So you're you not going to be oh, as okay. late. To, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, thirteen. You you put your clock thirteen minutes fast. And then you're like, oh, crap, I'm screwed. Oh, not as screwed. So uh, we're going to drive home. I was supposed to mention, um, funny guys are hot, and Skippy is hilarious. So. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Where? Is that? Because here's the thing. So are you, you don't have to say it like this, but if you wanted to in your own way say, are you attracted to funny guys that take you out on dates? Yes. Really? So maybe... Um, you would make the world a better place and put a kiss on Skippy's face. Is that something that could be happening? Uh, right in the, this region? Okay, on the cheek. I don't on the cheek. On the first date. It's this, the cheek is part of the face. There we go. <laughs> Yikes. Do I get a hug too? Yeah. Let's go for a premature hug. Okay. I mean, like, it's not, I mean, like, it's not the end of the date, but, you know, like, uh, you got it. Brought it I'm home. I have to like rub my back the entire time as we're driving home and hold my hand, but my hand is kind of cold, you know. And yeah. so, if you want to warm it up with your hands, right? Oh you may man, have. he's oh, going so heavy. Holy cow! So uh, I'm gonna use my other hand to drive, and this hand is not going to leave this position. Okay. Wait. I'm starting to blush. I'm starting to blush. Uh, I'll stop for now. Wow! Like the. <laughs> Every nerdy guy watching this should be like high fiving me whenever you see me. You should be like, "Way to go, dude!" And like, she's not even—you're not even pulling back, right? Like, mm -mm. this is solid. She's holding my hand almost as much as I'm holding hers. I'm a good hand holder. I'm so delusional. You're gorgeous. <laughs> I adore you. Oh you man. You should be 50 pounds so no one else yeah. likes you. So that Stop you saying that. Be together. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I have a hard time gaining weight. I don't say that just for any. I can't. Yeah. 
yeah, that that's going to suck for know. your husband. going to hate that about you. you know? Darn it, man. How know. tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five, five. Five foot five. Oh, that's SFX so perfect. SFX works. Donated the amount dollar five zero zero. Okay, like. Okay. Let this burn into your soul, bro. Okay. You so you, you so you feel how you feeling now? Dog. In the chat, those niggas are dying. Ears are bleeding, bro. Mm -hmm. That was hard to hear. That being said. Uh, well, ho hold on real quick, man. Uh, I got so many questions, bro. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, uh, have we got the phone lines too? Oh, you, got, you open up the phone lines right but now. I'll, I'll just say this. Yeah, it uh, ended. So. Oh my gosh. Huh? So I'll, I'll just say this, right? So, question. Did you do? A, did you do a second date? Your show now. Press no. One. No. Okay. There are no, no shows scheduled Ladies. within the next. Shut the fuck up. What? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Bear with us for a oh, second, thank guys. You using blog we'll, uh... Talk Radio. Goodbye. Yeah, Blog Talk Radio, guys. Sorry, we, we we're getting it back up. I don't know what happened here. So, ladies, real real quick, just like one minute segment. <laughs> and before we do this, if you guys want me to, because I see you guys in the chat like saying, "Oh, Myron, say something," blah blah blah. <laughs> If you guys want me to give my critique, we need. Hold on, let's see here. How many? Like, has this guy contributed anything to the show at all? This dude on the left. I feel like the guy on the right has done. Has been like the only the guy carrying. But maybe, maybe he hasn't. I missed it. Right. Cause I've been taking notes the whole time. Work at my end. Yeah. Uh, oh no, you ain't gonna like what I gotta say. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. We're gonna need at least forty five hundred likes, guys. There's forty six hundred of you guys watching on YouTube, so I need you guys to <laughs> stop the video right now, like the goddamn video. If you guys want me to give. The honest assessment, we need 4,500 likes right yep. fucking yep. now because all of you guys are going to learn from what I'm going to uh, say here later. So we need 4,500 likes if you guys want it. If not, then I'm, I'm going to keep it because I ain't going to lie. What I'm about to say is going to be really fucking harsh. So, Jesus. Um, yeah, if you guys want it, go ahead and like the video. Not, that, then I'm going to say nothing. Our father that you, you, need, you need in your life. Yeah. Can I ask a real quick question to the ladies? Yeah. Okay, so uh, as they give me the advice, right? what uh what is the best way for me to react because sometimes i feel when uh people give me advice that there is the way that i do react and then there's the way that uh guys think that i should react and there's the way that girls think that i should react to things yes red please don't care about whatever anyone wants you to react the way you react is the way it's meant to come out because you're your own individual or, person that's such worthless advice god i hate when people say shit like that sfx works donated the amount dollar five zero zero yeah i don't like making star bases at choke points or fl inhibitors i just let the enemy like roam around until i have to forfeit okay i've got one good choke down here to protect this I've got two star bases up here to to get this guy off. These people don't invade because they're just like mercenaries. And I don't think these people down here invade because they're mercenaries. But I also have a star base down here regardless in case these people over here. What am I missing? I could throw up like a random one, I guess like here or like deck these out, but like I only had limited star base capacities. Chill. Damn. Or how should I listen to it though? Like how just should, as, take it. as he gives it, should it be a asking questions or just sit there and listen, don't, Say anything back. But see, but see Skip, you Skippy, you did fucked up. You're overthinking but, it. No, no, but you ask them for advice. One to hear oh my God. Advice. You should know. No, no, no. You're not a bad way. Oh, okay. but, uh, give me one second. 30, well, fresh, four, they're not going to be able to hear you right now. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Because as a man, you should know if he says something to my face that I think is true, all right, it might be harsh, but I'm going to take it in. Or if it's not true, hey, you know what? You're just talking. I don't really care about that. As a man, you should know that. But that being said, you're working on it, so I understand. So it might be harsh, but it's like criticism that you need. And trust me, trust, mm -hmm. just, just, trust me. Your show will be right? live in Get five this. seconds. Oh, four, let, let it count on. Three. You two, could have twice two. the army. Yeah, I'm just waiting on my um I'm just waiting on my cruiser thing to finish. I don't want to make destroyers. So I feel like I'm going to make cruisers. Uh, I do, Well, artillery cruisers kill small ships like Corvettes, because then I can make, I'll have my Corvettes as torpedo Corvettes, and then I'll make artillery cruisers, and then we'll go run around with that, I think. One. One. I was 30, 30 pounds heavier than this, right? Mm -hmm. He told me, I'm a fat ass, get in the gym, slim down. It hurt, but it was the truth. The chat saw it. It was like, yo, bro, like, you're kind of overweight, bro. I went in the gym. 
Artillery cruisers don't kill small ships. Wait, then why do you tell? Then what do I? What am I supposed to do with torpedo corvettes then? Because torpedo corvettes don't kill small ships either. Or do I need the hangar carriers? This is what he said. Or Italy, cruisers. Thirty pounds down. That's awesome. Girls are like, yo, you look better. You look. Everything about me just changed. Confidence level. Uh, girls talking to me is like. The advice was harsh, but it made me better. Sure. So take it in stride. Don't take it as like, oh, he's telling me. He's telling you the truth. The truth hurts. As men, we got tired because reality is going to punish you no matter what you do. So. You take it and say thank you, basically. Yeah. And uh, then move on to the next person. Okay, we got the we got the phone lines open, Chris. Yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, did, did, did we hit that number? Yeah. 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 So okay. put the number below, uh, Chris, guys. If you want to call into the show, the number is uh, if I could remember it. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna pull it up right now. Five one five six zero five nine seven four zero. Again, if you guys want to call in. The Captain Jazz donated the amount dollar five. There is there a new debate tactic? Refuse to respond to arguments until you can fish two K likes from chat while eating pizza. Number is 515-605-9740 to get on the podcast and speak to the panel of lovely ladies and Skippy. Uh, like I said, I am not going to, because uh, here's the thing, man. What, I, what I'm going to say is going to be very harsh. Uh, Jesus. Wait, so torpedo corvettes can kill small ships? Because I was using like missiles before and they just couldn't do it. They were getting crushed. I had 4K corvette fleets getting killed by like 3K corvette fleets because I couldn't hit anything. But you're saying torpedoes are better than missiles? Uh, I'm not going to lie. But I ain't gonna do it unless the people actually want it. So if we get 4,500 likes, I will do it. There's 4,776 of you guys watching right now on YouTube, to include a couple, uh, I think like six or 700 of you guys on Twitch. So um, yes, I'm not gonna give this advice unless the people actually want it because I'm not gonna fuck. James Hansen donated the amount dollar five. Zero zero, I've been trying to tell you all day. Use destroyers with gunship bow and interceptor stern. M laser, S laser. S auto C on bow and 2x S auto C on everybody says destroyers suck. Like all I have are nuclear missiles. I don't know if these are good or not. Do you think these are? Fucking sugarcoat anything. Uh, all right, uh, let's like uh, the phone lines again 505 Uh, ladies, who who was red? You gave your suggestion, Bianca. What's what do you think? Cringy, okay, so so cringy. I mean, everything about the video is really bad. Yeah. Um, and I think that, um, you kind of like forced her into a lot of things. Um, and she didn't want to be mean. She, she wanted to be nice to you. Again, like I said, you're you're a nice guy. So to treat nice people badly is just not, it's not good. So, she deserved better. Yeah. Yeah. I just think you, you forced her into like a lot of things. I think you complimented her a lot. Too much. Right? Way too much. Um, like the dog chasing the car. Yeah. And SFX Works donated the amount $1.10.00. I don't even like making trade ports on star bases. That way I don't have to make Kuvets to handle any piracy, which is all they're good for. Hmm. And, um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to say. Okay. Thank that's you. That's true. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it's great. Sorry. My saying you're right is my thank you, but I apologize. No, 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 right. no, 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 no. Oh my <laughs> God, it's so awkward. You say what you want to say. It does something inwardly when you say thank you too. Okay. Inwardly? Yeah. So it goes both what? Ways. Okay. What the fuck? Hi, Scout. Hi. <laughs> so, um, I agree. There were moments where I could tell Situation she was being updated. nice to you because mm -hmm. you guys do have a history of being friends. Um, I don't think that maybe achieved. you should, um, document without the purpose of looking back and seeing what you did wrong yourself. So mm. even maybe the feedback you got here, I know that was so long ago. I mean, to be fair, you told me 2009, but um, you, I'm guessing you don't date as often or do the dating. Um, yeah, I've only gone content. on one date in the last, well, COVID, since COVID, one date since COVID. Gotcha. Yep. So with that being said, I could tell the, the compliments were sweet. Overdoing it is where it gets cringe. Yeah. Um, another thing, I can tell some of the things uh, you said to her were almost reassuring, not over, not just to her, but of yourself. SFX Works donated the amount dollar five to zero zero. That sounds like super harsh and mean, Wally. 
XTCL. You know, and um, when I when you're pulling out the camera, it's giving less dating documentary and it's more like, oh my God, I'm actually on a date, which is not bad. You know, it's exciting as someone who hasn't been out there in the dating realm too much. But, you know, when a girl sees that, she's like, man, like this guy really doesn't have the experience. Mm -hmm. It puts her in an awkward position to where her reactions on the date. And I'm not saying she wasn't being genuine. It's just it wasn't 100 percent real. Right. Okay. No, that's true. She okay. was nice enough to give you the experience. Okay. as um, you know. Yes. All right. Yes. That's what it felt like. I agree. Nina? Thank you. Yeah, I think for your next date, try to make more eye contact. I know that you were documenting. And I think, in a sense, you were documenting because being in front of the camera is more of a familiar setting and it makes you feel more comfortable than being face-to-face -face with a girl. Holding the camera and filming kind of gives you like a sense of comfort, right? Because that that's your comfort zone. Yes, that's very true, too. That's very true. But us women, we love eye contact. It's very seductive. Team donated the amount dollar five zero zero. Okay, that's it. Side chat. I'm done. Next stream. Is YouTube chat going on screen? I had enough of your dog shit Stellaris advice, your stupid fucking Amagus memes, and your mega cringy posting. Jeez. Brutal. Which point defense is better? Sentinel point defense is 10% tracking. The flag battery has 50%. It seems way better. Or I don't know what the difference is between tracking and accuracy. Tracking probably has to do with how fast it is around you. Flags are for strike craft. Point defense are for rockets. Uh, They're seductive. It's one of and ask her more questions about herself so that she feels that merch. <laughs> <laughs> so we, that she feels... We got a shirt. This is, uh, I feel like... So that she feels like you're actually interested in get getting to know her and not just exploiting her for a video. And also, like all the ladies said, uh, over complimenting a person can actually be a little detrimental to the relationship or the friendship that you're going to develop with them because it kind of puts them on a pedestal. You don't want to have people on a pedestal yeah. where yeah. they think that. you know, you're glorifying them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to... On a high horse. Yeah, basically. yeah. it, it boosts their ego a, a mm -hmm. little too much. And I've done yes. that. Yeah. Been there, done that. It's not a good thing. No, that's true. Okay. That's true. And I remember... That's good. Sorry. Are you done? SFX Works donated the amount dollar five zero zero. Cappuccino, 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 cappuccino. Oh, 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 oh. You mentioned that the waitress and your date had a better friendship than you. And that's because there is a mutual agreement between the girls mm -hmm. that it was awkward. Yeah. So the waitress was more like, you know, trying to relieve the situation as well. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And also don't tell people your weaknesses because then they feel pity for you. You don't want people to feel pity right. for you. You want them to like you and love you for who you really are, not just because they feel bad for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you are who you present yourself as, not what other people think of you before. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's hit the uh, oh, super chats. Really hit the phone lines, guys. So uh, super chats are going to take priority over the phone lines. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, okay. And then I think the phone lines are blown up again. The, the what's uh, the number? Uh, one more time, Chris. Can you tell the people? Yeah. It's on the screen. people. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll throw it down. It's uh, nine, uh, five, one, five, six, zero, five, nine, seven, four, zero, five, one, five, nine. Yep. There you go. Okay. Uh, all right. So we got, um, where are we at? We had, uh, uh, okay. We got after common era. So does Skippy have to wait to receive head two? Oh God. Okay. Uh, then we got D nice 10 bucks. Uh, no, don't do Skippy like that. Keep it private. Okay. And then, uh, 20 bucks, the voice of the blue hat, bro, just relax. Ask her questions. Let her ask you some. Act like you've done this before. Be more confident. Okay. Uh, Easier said than done, though. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, so thank you. Let's uh, move over to the phone lines. Thank Holy you. crap. There's a bunch of numbers here. Okay. Do like five to ten. Okay. So we got, uh, and guys, keep it quick. So when you, so number one, mute your YouTube in the background because it's going to echo. Yeah. Number two, yes, we can hear you. Go ahead and say what you want to say. And then uh, number three, keep it brief. If you ramble on too long, we're going to have to move on to the next person. Okay. So that's all we ask. And then, like I said, 
super chat take priority and then uh then we'll go to phone lines then we'll just like keep flicking back between the two yeah chris ten dollars just focus on yourself man best advice i can give you okay uh all right let's uh, go with one 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 okay angel number alignment <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hello, hello. Hey, welcome to First Street Podcast. Welcome. <gasps> okay, nothing. All right. All right, we're good. We got 843. Welcome to First Street hey, Podcast. Uh, Skippy, I just want to... Oh, thank you. Um, Skippy, I just want to give you two pieces of advice, man. Okay. Uh, first of all, just, you know, relax, take a deep breath, and you're just around other people. You know, it's nothing different. I, I just see you moving around a lot, kind of. And uh, second of all, um, you know, I kind of always think about the fact that one day I'm going to die. Like, it's just reality. So, you know, like, can't keep pushing things back till later. And I'm happy that you're trying to focus on yourself and really kind of improve yourself. Jesus. So just keep at it, man. And, like, really listen to these guys. They'll give you some good advice. Thanks. I appreciate your calling in. Cool. Yeah, thanks, for, thanks for having me on, guys. All right, caller. Thanks, cool. man. Uh, we got 813 in the house. Coming up. 813. 813. Shout out to Fresh and Fit. How you guys doing? What's up, man? Hey, Not bad, bro. Skippy. Yeah. Skippy. You need, you need to break this, the dry spell, my man. Go to a bar, pick up an old chick, and bang her brains out. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them spots up. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Uh, we got 720 on the line. Ships have been made superior. What's up? Hello? What's up, man? Welcome to Fresh Podcast. Uh, we got 720 on the line. You got to mute your thing in the background, <laughs> oh, no. man. We told you all to do that. Please. Go ahead. All right. Uh, hello? Yep. Achieved. Okay. All right, uh, 631. <laughs> 631. Yo, what up? What's up, Call Welcome to Fresh Podcast. Go on once. Go on twice. Go on. Yeah, gone. All right, 203, South Connecticut in the, in the building. 203. 203. Yo, Myron Fresh, what's up? What up, man? So, G? Yeah, I just wanted to say, like, uh, Skippy just... Listen to everything that they're telling you. Like me myself, I'm 22 years old, young. I say I take in everything that they say. So I would just say, just don't take it to heart. The ladies on the podcast too, they're just trying to help you out. So just listen to them. Try to better yourself every day. And my and fresh, I keep watching y'all every night. I mean, y'all chat, JR Rank, I'm a subscriber, channel member. So keep doing y'all thing, man. Much love. Appreciate Thank you, bro. Support, bro. Your fans Thank are support. awesome, you guys. Seriously, like I love these dudes, and this is awesome. Uh, you're awesome. We got 206 coming up. Uh, uh, 206. You're awesome. You're live on a Fresh Fit podcast. Hey, Myron, it's uh, Donovan's IT guy from the CME, Geeky Anomaly. How you doing? Hey, hey what's, what's up, up man? Up? How are you? Hey, very good. Hey, uh, Skippy, Come listen, sure. man. I know what you're going through because 20 years ago I was you. Oh. So I'm 38. I'm 38 now, dude. Two things. 20 One, years ago. Get a certain... When I was 28, I was you. Or tw wait, he said he's 38. 20 years ago, when I was 18, I was you now when you're 43. Assertiveness training. So go to like a, a specialist, a professional, and mm -hmm. get assertiveness training. Number two, don't take dating advice from women. A fisherman doesn't ask a fish how to catch fish. Whatever Myron tells you to do tonight, either on air or privately, do exactly what he says and don't question it. Cool. Thank you, Geeky Anomaly. I appreciate the, the support, man. Good to hear your voice. Pause. Uh, <laughs> we met him in person in, in, uh, in Vegas. Uh, 504? Good dude. Uh, 504, you're, you're live on air. 504? Hey, how you doing? What's up, man? Welcome What's to up, Fresh Fit Podcast. Hey, I appreciate y'all for, uh, you know, letting us talk and everything. For sure, man. Um, we love the people, off, bro. First off, I'm a uh, lieutenant in the Army. Okay. I'm, I'm Thank you for your service. Old. I'll be 31 in December. Mm -hmm. And I would say, Skippy, like, the number one thing you should really focus on is getting your uh, physical health up, like, for real, seriously. No, um, just by looking at your posture and everything, it's not, you're not showing that you're really confident in everything. And it's kind of making it seem like you're uh, just <laughs> going with the flow for tonight's show. Um, my best advice for you, though, is to, you know, start with uh, what a fit tells you tonight. Once you do that, and just go from there. All, All right. right. Cool. Uh, Thanks, thank you so man. much for calling in, man. Uh, is, is Super Chats, Chris, or? Yeah, give me a second. Okay. Uh, and guys, thank you so much for, for calling in and leaving the Super Chats and everything else like that. We try to make the show as interactive cool, as thank possible, so much, especially guys. on the Fridays. Um, okay, great. 10 bucks, Marcus, this third. Uh, I'm a 
I'm a, I'm a <laughs> piggyback on what the girl said about talking about your weaknesses. Give this motherfucker 48 laws of power ASAP. Okay. <laughs> Skippy is doing it again. He is. Wait, this guy still hasn't said anything, right? Or am I just mixing? Do I hear them? Both of the same voice? Or is this guy not said shit? Asking fish how to be fisherman 10 bucks from Ammon to, to Ku. I will say this. The ladies actually gave very good advice, bro. Because you guys got to remember that where Skippy's at, like, any help is really going to help. Like, any advice that, like, you know, talks about confidence or whatever is going to help. When we say that women are terrible at dating advice, we're talking about when it comes to, like, getting sex or, like, seduction or, like, more advanced techniques. They're not going to tell you how to, like, you know, run game on them. But from the beginning, like, you know, basic stuff, getting on advanced a date, not techniques. being awkward, being able to be receptive to her, you know, to her social... This is a good example of red pill people getting something totally correct for the absolutely wrong fucking reason, okay? You never ask girls how to date girls, okay? But the reason isn't because they're not going to tell you how to run advanced game or dumb shit like that. The reason is because you can't ask a person how to generalize their entire group of people because they don't know and they'll tell you what they like. So when you ask like a guy or you ask a girl like, hey, how should you approach guys or girls? They're not going to tell you how to approach guys or girls. They're going to say like, oh, you should do this or that or that. But they're really just telling you what they personally like. And that might not work on every person. That's why sometimes it's better to talk to people uh, like that have more experience from the other side. Or if you have like a really um, intelligent person or somebody with more perspective on that side, they can help as well. But yeah. cues. The women are giving good advice, guys. Hey, can I ask you a question, though? Because I think yeah. my and correct me if I'm wrong, and I really hope that I'm wrong on this. Okay, uh -oh. my guess is that uh, because uh, guys uh, tend to hang out with guys that are a lot like themselves, right? And so my guess is that you don't hang out with and aren't uh, really good friends with too many beta males like me, right? Which I know that I'm a beta, beta male, man, right? I uh, one day maybe I'll uh, get the alpha out, but when you give advice to betas, how well do they take it? Because it's uh, kind of tough when you've got a person like you're an intimidating person, in my opinion, right? Uh -huh. uh, you seem to have it all figured out, even if you're like, hey, I didn't always have it uh, all figured out. But I look at a person like you and I'm like, how much can you relate to a person like me? You seem to be a person that may say, hey, even though I've never been where you are, I've never been the overweight guy. I've never been the guy that feels uncomfortable in his skin a lot, but I still have advice uh, to give you. Or do you have uh, friends and people in your real life that are betas that have come along not just because of uh they paid money to be in the program though so here's the thing man i actually identify 100 percent with where you're coming from because i used to be there too really yeah yeah there's the, the difference is this <laughs> i chose to change okay bro you are like half this guy's age i don't think you've ever been where that dude is <laughs> so and you know you're a little bit later in this and not in night not deciding to change but I used to play video games at a high level. I used to collect Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I used to play video games all the time. You know what I'm saying? And I decided I used to be very skinny. You know, I wasn't fat, but I was skinny. Okay. And I got picked on in school. I was bullied. And um, I've said on the podcast before, I think bullying is very good. Because what bullying does is it lets you know that you're inadequate. And then it, makes, it forces you almost to make adaptations. Okay. Now I understand more what this podcast is and who this guy is and why he hasn't said shit yet. Oh my god, this is actually so much horrible advice. Holy fuck. You know what I'm saying? If a bully beats you up at school, what are you going to do? Well, you're probably more than likely going to start going to the gym. You're going to learn how to defend yourself. You're going to adapt. How often does this happen? Like, freshman year, all the nerds by senior year are like the jacks. Like... What, like freshman year, remember those 10 kids that said that they, they, were, they kept talking about Python on their computer? And then like senior year, they're like varsity fucking wrestlers. <laughs> Wait, when, when does this happen? What? Taller and donated the amount dollar five was zero zero. Galactic community, alliances, federations, fuck that. I'm on that Sigma Xenophobe grind set. Yes. Why am I losing this war fucking bullshit? No. To the abrasive situation and overcome. The issue is that you've been coddled for far too long in your life you live with your mom you haven't really had an incentive to get out there and make more money you haven't had an incentive to get in shape because no one's really put your ass to the fire and told you hey man you need to change and the reason why so many people love this podcast is because me and fresh we're nerds we don't run around and say hey we're alphas we always been this way hell no no nope. and as a matter of fact i'll take it a step further you never want to learn from someone that was a natural because they can't tell you how they got there yep. they just are naturally good at it the jocks whatever it is the guys that are always good women they're the worst coaches but us, I was a virgin until I was 18, but I decided right then and there, 
You know what? I'll tell you too. <laughs> bro, you're on a totally different world. Oh man, this guy's like, bro, I didn't get laid until I was 18. Dude, you're in a whole different world than this guy. Oh no, memory lane, I'll tell you my story real quick. <laughs> I'll never forget, it's 2008, uh, May of 2008. I'm sitting in class in African American studies class. Uh, I was in high school, about, uh, I was 18 years old, and uh, senior year of high school. And this kid behind me, his name was Mike. Remember you, Mike? Thank you for this. He taps me on the back of my, my tricep right here, right? And at the time, I was six foot two, 160 pounds. And he goes, Wow, you're really fucking skinny. And like all the girls in class laughed, right? So. It was like right there at that moment, I was like, damn. Because I had known, like, yo, I need to get in the gym. Because, like, people were shoving me around or whatever. When I played basketball at the time, people were able to box me out easily, whatever. So I was like, damn. So that summer, after I graduated high school, in June, I started going to the gym and I started training. Started watching YouTube videos on how to gain weight, go to the gym, whatever. But it took me feeling uh, this sense of pain and embarrassment for me to realize I need to fucking change. You know? Luckily for me, I did it at 18. You know, but it's never too late to change, man. You're 43. You, you could definitely make some adaptations. I was playing video games. I was drink, eating pizza. I was drinking a, a bottle, of, a Sprite, two-liter bottle every every day back then. And, uh, you know, my dad was telling me, you're a fucking loser, whatever it is. So the thing about being a man, and, and this I just use that example, that's what stimulated me to change, right? The thing about being a guy is that your reality is a direct reflection of your inadequacies. I'm going to say that again. Your reality is a direct reflection of your inadequacies. Maybe gym culture isn't as big in Europe, but as a kid, nobody even told me what going to the gym or Special sports in general project. does. Um, I think it might be more of an American thing. I do notice, I'm generalizing hardcore because I've only been Netherlands and, and Sweden like significantly spending time in a gym. The gym culture in Europe seems like way more like I'm here to like work out and do stuff to like improve my body versus in America, there is way more ego in gyms in the US. It's like unreal. Um, like, which I don't know, maybe there's like a different culture around like, you know, in America, you go to the gym to get shredded to pick up girls or whatever. Maybe people in Europe generally do. Um, uh, but then again, keep in mind, I've only been to like Scandinavian gyms and, uh, well, Netherlands is even Scandinavia. I've only been to like Northern Europe and, um, I'm also in LA in the U S so the, you know, there might be differences in there. Right. So if women don't respect you, if your peers don't respect you, if you're broke, if you're fat, that is literally an outward manifestation of your failures. You know what I'm saying? It shows a lack of discipline, lack of ambition, whatever it is like that. And unfortunately for men, we can't do that. Because as a man, if you're a loser, society isn't gonna coddle you. Maybe your mom will, maybe the girls will say, oh man, you know what they're really saying? Good boy, it's okay, no Good big boy. deal. But you're not gonna get what you want. You're, you're getting, they're gonna tolerate you, but they're not gonna respect you. You know what I'm saying? So. We got to make some concrete changes. So I, I took some notes here while you were speaking. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go over the good and the bad. Okay. So first we're going to go over the good. You're very nice. You're very polite. You beat an addiction, which is fucking amazing. That's awesome. Say that last part again. You beat an addiction. Oh, oh I the beat, opiates. It, it beat You beat an, an addiction, addiction. Okay. Which, which many people can't do that. Right. Oh. And you're fucking famous, dude. Now let's talk about the bad. You're nice. <laughs> Okay, that niceness seeps into awkwardness, and uh, you're not leveraging your fame whatsoever. And there is no one stupider than someone that has that is famous and doesn't have money. You should have been leveraged your ability. People recognize you. You've been on TV, dude. You should have. You should not be broke at all. You know what I'm saying? There's no excuse for that. And also, you shouldn't be fat either. You know, there's not many things in life that you can control, but your body weight, your image. Your personal hygiene, that is something you can't control. Said on the podcast a million times, you have no excuse to be fat in 2021 with all the free information out there on fitness and lifestyle and everything else like that, man. So number one, you need to lose weight. That's number one. Because once you... once you Brian Callahan oh. donated the amount dollar five. Zero, zero, this guy seems one villain origin story away from becoming Jesse Lee Peterson. Lose weight going to build a certain type of discipline and foundation for you to build upon other endeavors for success if you can get in shape be disciplined it's going to be easy for you to go to work work uh, you know push yourself uh get yourself out of your comfort zone the gym is is merely just a 
uh, a manifestation of your efforts and you can apply that into real life. So that's number one. That's the foundation, right? Get in the gym. Number two, you need to find another job, bro. You need to, you need to make you need to make more money. It's unacceptable that you're 43 years old and you have not broken $15,000 per year. That's unacceptable. And quite frankly, you have no business even dealing with women until you get your money on point, especially for what your goal is, which is to get married and have a family. Okay. Uh, and then you got to get out your mom's house. Uh, I don't live in my mom's house. I no, haven't. You live by yourself. You live by yourself now. I have uh, two roommates. Okay, you, yeah. you got to get out of there. You you got to live on your own. You know what I'm saying? My credit is horrible, though, right? Like I, I understand what you're saying with that, and I completely agree. And if my credit uh, right now uh, was where I could, but my credit is horrible. So I like some see what of you're things... doing right now. Whose fault is that? No, hold on, hold on. You see what you're doing right now? You're making excuses. No one gives a fuck about your excuses. Skippy, I'm, I'm being, being all the way 1,000 with you. No one cares about your excuses. Your credit is bad because you made bad decisions in the past. You can so fix now, your credit. Yeah, you, you can, can fix your credit. Your credit. No, but I live with the roommates because I'm trying to fix my credit, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, with all due respect to that last part, right? Yep. I understand what you're trying to say with the motivation thing. And that's totally true, right? But please, please try to understand that you're saying that to a person that's working on it, right? And if it was as simple as, Hello? right, you need Hi, to get up? your own uh, place. Oh, uh, not much. What's up with you? We're watching uh, The Adventures of Skippy, the 43-year-old virgin on the Fred. Oh, Fet I love Skippy. The, the Fresh and Fit podcast. Yeah. Wait, really? Do you know a lot about this guy? Um, I only know a little bit about him, but that How can you love him? How can you love weird. a guy that you only know a little bit about? <laughs> well, okay, look, he's weird. He's weird. He's weird as fuck. Like, dude, dude does some weird shit. Yeah, and you're There's not weird? Reason. <laughs> um... I'm um, here too, but I, mm -hmm. I'm not like that. Really? You, are you sure? How confident are you? I'm in sure. That? You're not that weird. I'm 100%. 100%. Confident. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I got to say to that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What makes you think that you're not weird then? Uh, I don't talk about my dad's dick every single time I go into somebody's chat room. <laughs> Wait, are you streaming? Yeah. Oh, sorry. We can't talk. Uh, Go away. Come back tomorrow. Bye. Oh, okay. Really? Um, yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. Wait, fuck. Sorry. SFX Works donated the amount dollar ten zero zero. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit on 4K while I micromanage my cities instead of clicking the gear. I kind of handle that while I make defensive platforms. Wait, what are defense platforms? Defense platforms suck. Okay. But when you're on, like, I am working on that. I have a job at least, right? And another oh, thing shit. that you're Skip's saying, and I think you'll agree with me on this, oh, and I could shit. be wrong, but don't you agree that when you're depressed, it's easier uh, to put on the pounds? That when you oh, start no. getting motivated and start the feeling better about are coming yourself, out. that Skip. it's easier to lose weight then, because uh, working out helps you feel better about yourself and the depression goes. But that's one of the, it's an excuse, but it's also a truth. And I think the, uh, so until people come to me that can like with as bad a credit as I have, if it's just as simple as me getting uh, my own place when my credit is this horrible and these things. And one of the things I, why I have Skip, horrible jobs you're losing is the plot, I Skip. have been, as I've been going through uh, the depression and stuff like that, I haven't been hireable because of how miserable and how I've been overcoming these things, right? When you have uh, depression and mental illness that you're trying to overcome, especially when you are the micro famous and you're trying not to lose your shit on YouTube uh, in videos and things, and you want to overcome it, but you also know that weirdly people on your channel. So when I don't make videos for a month or two, I'm doing it to try and better my mental health not for other things and if i could just move out i would Thank but financially you. i can't and i every time i go to uh youtube and i make a video where i say hey guys uh support me or my channel i'm not doing it the right way and people don't give a shit about that because then it then comes off as begging skippy right skippy, skippy. where do you live uh -oh. ogden utah okay you live in the united states yes okay do you have running water yes you have electricity mm -hmm. you have food in the fridge yeah. Okay, you got nothing to be depressed about. There's children right now that don't even have clothes, <laughs> that don't have food, that don't have anything. No clothes, Only children. in the West do we have this, oh, Skip's this notion mad. that, oh, man, it's so tough. Oh, my God, I'm sad. I don't know how I feel. The problem is this. You're looking at what you 
don't have instead of looking at what you do have. Yes. And you're making excuses for your inadequacies. Okay? All I hear is wah, 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 fucking wah, bro. Fucking wah. Is, is that you've gotten away with doing this for your entire adult life because no one's told you the truth. Bro, you are blessed. Okay? With all the flaws and all, you are blessed I'm compared to 99% of the U.S. the world population. population. You have running water, my friend, and access to food, electricity, and a shelter. Ten I don't want to hear none of that feet. shit. There's people right now that are in wheelchairs. There's people that are crippled. <laughs> There's people that have serious defects. You're a nice guy. You're healthy, right, to a degree. Healthy enough to work, healthy enough to make YouTube videos, healthy enough to become famous to a degree where people recognize you. Count with your blessings, bro. Stop making excuses for your failures. There's no excuse for you to have shitty credit at 43 years old. We have a playlist on here that we tell guys how to get their credit up it, it, on point, man. You know what I'm saying? There's so many different things you could do, and we could talk about it behind the scenes, obviously, because it's a little bit more involved than what I can talk about here. But, bro, I need you to stop looking at the have-nots and start looking at the haves that you have. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're depressed, because you're looking at what you don't have. What you need to start looking at is what you do have. Right. Your whole Flames perception of reality is fucked up because you're looking at the glass zero, zero, okay, empty. And tiny. And that's typically you lift, what losers do. What's your squat? We're trying to get you into a winner's mindset. How many plates do you carry with you to okay? the bathroom? I swear. No, I don't want to hear no I feel or none of that fucking shit. Um, the reality <laughs> is, is that you need to change, Skippy. And I know this is hard to hear. It's hard. I, I, and, I'm, and I'm going easy on you, too. You know what I'm saying? But you've overcome some really good, uh, you've overcome some adversity with the addiction and everything else like that. You need to take that same, like, that same veracity with overcoming that addiction. You need to apply it to other endeavors in your life with finances, with fitness, etc. I don't want to hear no excuses, man. You're in a first world country. You live in the United States. You got running water. You got food. You got, you got everything, bro. You, you okay, bro? I, uh... It's fine. Yeah, I'm, it's fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm also both hot and stressed, and I've had to pee for the last 20 minutes. And it's tough when wanting to say something to that, but uh, but oh. I also kind of feel like I know that I shouldn't say anything and should just sit here and be like, cool, I'll work on it. So, cool, I'll work on it, even though I really have to pee. Yeah, no, no, you can go pee, bro. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, okay. man. Go ahead. Talk amongst yeah, yeah, yourselves. Reflect, I'll give yeah, you reflect a on it for a topic. second. A uh, peanut is neither a pea nor a nut. Discuss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So I'll these super chats real quick while he uh, while he, while he's at the bathroom. Uh, okay. And we got sixty two hundred guys in here, guys. Please like, like the, the video. Something to the channel, man. Uh, great job, Myron, and how you gave advice to Skippy. That's how you truly help men. Yeah, man. You got to be honest. Yep. Uh, Mark Mansfield. Mark Mansfield. BWC. I can really feel the love in tonight's show. Most shows slash podcast society would just shame and make fun of him. Thanks for pulling Skippy up. Yeah, yep. man. Uh, and then 10 bucks, Christian Bonilla, Bonilla. Uh, when it comes to bullying, not everyone has the same views as you. Those who are bullied tend subconscious trauma or even become uh, self-deletional. Uh, they tend to have their lives become sabotaged. Hey, Christian, you know uh -oh. what I mean? Like, uh oh, it's your choice how you react to reality. You can be a pussy and say, damn, this hurt my feelings and get sad about it. Or you, or can, be a you Sigma. can use it as coal to throw in the furnace of ambition and change. You know what I'm saying? How, life is merely how you react to adversity, bro. That, that's really what it is. You can choose to have a great life by reacting to it in a positive way and saying, all right, I'm going to use this as motivation, or you can sit and cry. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you got to pick one. I'll give you guys an example. As you guys know, we went through some BS uh, the past month or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. wow. A lot of hate, a lot of you know false accusations being thrown, whatever it was. We didn't sit here and say, fuck, man. We're screwed. We're screwed. This sucks. Scientific Damn, let's stop them making videos. Everyone's disliking our videos. Everyone's oh, no. making hateful comments. It's over. You know, I got a bunch of death threats on Instagram. I'm, I'm sad. No, we were like, <laughs> okay, we're going to keep putting out content. We're going to increase the quality of the content. We're going to get some new equipment, make our shit better. We're going to put our feet to the fire and sit there. We're going to accept what's going on and we're going to overcome. Mm -hmm. We're not going to run from the problem. We're not going to make excuses about the problem. We're not going to fucking cry about the problem. Yep. We're going to fucking walk through the fire and make it on the other side. You choose what you want to do. But if you're going to react to it like a pussy, and be like, oh, I don't know, I'm sad. Ah. Th th hey, man, it is what it is. But I'm going to tell you this. There's motherfuckers out in, because I've been to third world countries. There's motherfuckers in Africa, in South Africa. America, in a bunch of poor places that would kill to be able to go to school, for free, by the way, yeah. get bullied by a motherfucker, get thrown in a locker, get a free lunch, come home to an electricity, water, and food, 
and tolerate that bullying. Meanwhile, you're over here crying in a first world country. Fuck out of here. I have no sympathy for people that are broke, uh, broke or unhappy in a first world country, bro. Like, but this people is... forget that the people forget the privileges and the blessings that they have, yeah. and they take it for granted. But this is the way immigrants, right, come to the uh, United States. They see the value that, that is here, and they think. Don't you think this advice actually works on people though? So, um, if I'll be charitable to this guy, here's like the issue. Um, and I mentioned this before, and I don't know how you like do this well. This is this is difficult, okay? My personal advice to people is never going to be the same as societal prescriptions. Like, if you listen to me talk about like what do we do as society to help people to make people's lives better to do all this shit, like I'm going to come off as the most left leaning person in the world. But if you talk to me on a personal setting and you're getting advice from me, I'm going to sound like the most right leaning person you ever heard, right? Like on a left leaning thing, in public advice, like we need to do things like help people with housing. We got to get like fucking whatever welfare you need. You got to get like subsidized education, healthcare, like all of these things need to happen because it, you know, getting all these prerequisite conditions solved for a person, um, you know, generally makes people's lives better. But if you're coming at me in a personal advice, like, bro, I don't know what to do. I'm fucked. It's like, all right, well, do you want to be fucked or do you want to do something about it? Because like crying about it for a year and years and years, like 10 years later, okay, if you're 20, you're going to be 30 in 10 years. It's up to you how you want to get there. Right? You can cry about it all you want, and it can be shit, and maybe your life is shit. And if you wanted to stay shit, you can do that. But unless you make a decision to change it, it's going to be like that forever. You can cry about all you want. Um, you're going to be crying for 10 years, and that's going to change. Right? So like, it's it's hard because like, in in one sense, like on a personal level, if I'm giving advice, like you're the you're the the master of your own destiny. Right? Nobody's going to care about you as much as you do. Right? Unless you're literally 12 and you live with your parents or some shit. Right? Nobody's going to take the the ultimate responsibility of your life like you can because it's your life. Um, but yeah, so it's hard to balance out. Like, how do you give personal advice to somebody on a bigger platform without making it sound like a little bit like irresponsible? I don't know. It's, it's a it's a difficult thing to do. What mindsets do you think are the most important to have? Um, I don't know. That's a hard one because now you're asking me for general advice. I would say nobody is going to advocate for you like you will. Nobody is going to be in your corner as much as you will be in your corner. Uh, advocate for yourself harder than anybody else and then do what you can to improve your shit. Like, yeah. Salikin donated the amount, a dollar ten. Zero zero at this point isn't even true. Bullying and abuse in schools is universally shared across rich and poor countries. In poor countries, lack of anti-bullying leads to increased dropout rates. Guys, a goober. Nice. Pull advantage of it, and they can become successful. Yeah. Almost overnight because they're like, "Yikes! I've been here. I've been in the bad situations back in my home country. This is heaven to me." I'm going to take advantage of it. And I thank my parents for yeah. constantly reminding me, hey, yeah. you're in the United States. Hey, you're in the United States. You need to stop crying, blah, blah, blah. Like, a lot of you guys, man, I ain't going to lie. A lot of you guys are fucking pussies if I'm going to be all the way 1,000. Yeah, it's true. That you really, you, a bro, lot of you guys in here. Bro, I used to work at a uh, call center for at t right? Mm -hmm. I saw niggas that were there for 20 years. The Johnny Slick donated the amount $1.5. Zero, zero, it's not even about crying about it. If you're in a holding pattern like this guy, you need therapy, not platitudes. Not hard words, but a pro. Yeah, so that is true. But like, um, I've given this take before and huh, I'm saying this hesitantly. And I think I'm only giving this take now because of how old I am because of like what I've seen firsthand. So this is anecdotal as fuck, okay? This is very anecdotal, all right? I think therapy is dramatically overrated. And I think that it does... I think that it does more than what you people think it does sometimes. Like, when I see people in therapy for 10 years, like, I'm thinking, like, well, wait, why? Like, what did you need therapy for? Um, now, obviously, if you, like, have some crazy PTSD, if you've been insanely raped, like, if there's some crazy shit, sure. But if you're just, like, a relatively normal life, you're kind of depressed, like, okay, well, if you go to therapy for 10 years, right? That's like the, the whole point of going to therapy is to getting uh, like acquiring the skills and the techniques and everything that you need to like change whatever you need to do in your life, to have a better mindset, to have a better way of moving forward. Like therapy is supposed to be part of the journey, but it seems like for a lot of people, therapy becomes this decades long destination where it's like, oh yeah, like Thursday, that's my therapy day. Like, no, therapy is supposed to be like rehab work for your mind. It's not supposed to be like therapy. That's like a permanent fixture in my life that I'm gonna be going to until I die. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't know. That's it's kind of strange to me. Like people are always just like, oh, go to therapy, go to therapy, go to therapy. That's the solution. Everything. Go to therapy. Like therapy doesn't solve anything. Therapy is just like, hopefully, it's a way for you to acquire another tool set or kind of like rewire your mind or change the way your mind works. But, 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 like going to therapy is like the same as like 
going to like the gym or going to like uh, practice or for a sport or whatever, or going to like whatever. Um, you like therapy on its own d does not do anything. Y you have to be deliberate when you go to get something out of it. If you show up to a therapist every week and you talk for some bullshit and you walk away or whatever, like you're not getting anything out of it. It's not gonna do anything. In fact, you probably just shouldn't go. You just save the money. Like don't just go to therapy and like sit there and talk and then go home and do nothing, right? Like therapy has to be like a deliberate, mindful thing where I am going here because I'm making the choice to improve something in my life and I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna acquire something and then I'm gonna try to apply that in my life. Like that's like the, that's the point of going to therapy. It's not just like a, this is a fixture in my life and oh yeah, you know, like Friday mornings is my 11 a.m. therapy. Um, she's really cool, you know, like um, when I met her, she was single and now she's a mother of four, you know, I've been going for about 15 years now, it's pretty cool. Like. Bro, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you, what are you getting out of? This sounds like somebody that goes to a chiropractor for a decade. It sells back pain. Like, go to a real doctor or, or do something to actually change. I don't mean go to a real doctor like the therapist and a real doctor. Like, go, go, like you have to make a choice and deliberately do something. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I'm saying. Um, why are you making fun of some things he's saying, which is super agreeable? It's just hard because, like, this guy gives a lot of good advice, but he does it unintentionally, and it all comes from the wrong place. And I can tell because sometimes he stumbles into areas that are super shit. Um, I don't know, like comparing, nobody has the perspective of being a poor starving kid in Africa, okay? If you compare yourself to that shit, nobody gives a fuck, right? Nobody, um, like, I don't know what the fuck a starving kid in Africa is like. Why the fuck do we, like, oh, well, there's kids starving in Africa. Okay, wow, sucks to be them. That doesn't make me feel any better. Why the fuck would I care if there's, right? That's like some shit, like, you lose a league game, and it's like, oh, well, some people are in platinum or gold. It's like, okay, what the fuck? Is that supposed to make me feel better? Like, wh why, why would you, like, that doesn't make anybody feel better. Like, that kind of advice is always, like, really stupid. Um, Brian Callahan donated the amount dollar five. Zero, zero, if you have running water, you can't be depressed, lock it up. Psychologist, this man has solved mental illness. Nice. Um, uh, yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. So some of the stuff he says, like, it, it, the comparisons are, like, really weird. But I think there are, like, ways to phrase this that is better. Like, the way that I tend to think about this isn't, like, oh, my God, some people have it so much worse than me. Like, think of it as, like, your life could be so much worse. And imagine right now, imagine right now if you had the ability to go back in time and use right now as a starting point everybody would say yes to that, right? If you're kind of like unhappy with where you're at and you're 25 years old and you're like, God, if I could go back to when I was even like 22, things would be so much different. Well, guess what, okay? Five years from now, you're gonna be 30 and you're gonna be thinking, fuck, if I could just go back to when I was 25, right? But hey, you're 25 now, do it now, right? Like y you can be retrospective, like be, pr be prospectively retrospective, right? Like think like, okay, well, Fuck, when I'm 30, my life might suck, and I might be thinking, well, what could I have done differently five years ago? Well, fuck, I'm 25 now, right? Or if you're 30, and you know, well, fuck, I'm gonna be 35 now. Or if you're 40, like, oh, well, when I'm 50, I was thinking, like, fuck, I had my whole 40s, what was I doing, right? Uh, like, right now, your starting position, assuming you are moderately healthy, is so good. Dude, if you can, like, move your body, and you don't have like huge chronic problems and you just like, have, like just your health alone is like such an asset. And there are so many people that would kill not starving kids in Africa, but just like other people, right? Like I might even think about it in terms of like, like when I, like when I'm trying to, if I'm trying to lose weight, right? Like, okay, fuck, like I'm 165, I've cut now to 160. It's like, okay, let's go like to 150, whatever. It's like, okay, well, I feel a little bit chubby, whatever. But it's like, damn, dude, some people my size weigh like 300 pounds and they would kill themselves to weigh 200 pounds. And so it's like my starting point is like already, my starting point is better than some people's destinations, right? If you're healthy, your starting point is better than a lot of people's destinations. It might be better than, it might be ahead of your destination in the future if you keep on the path you're at, right? That's kind of like how I think about it in terms of like, time is always moving forward no matter what. You can't delay that. And if you regret how your past has gone, you have the chance to, to divert your course right now. Don't wait five years thinking five years ago I could have done something different. That's all I'm thinking. <clears throat> 30 years, I'm like, damn, y'all really still at like this company for 20, 30 years, making 10, 10 dollars an hour? Yeah. I was like, bro, this is crazy to me. Dude, I was, I was out in a year. So to me, like, you have a choice to make. Either settle for, you know, me mediocrity or become better for yourself and your family. Mm -hmm. You yeah. have a choice to make. Okay, uh, we got, uh, we're almost done here. Okay, 10 bucks, Corey, SWK, you have to get up and work. We all need to hustle. Listen to what Myron is saying. He can really change your life. I've started investing in crypto. I also go to the gym, start to develop hobbies ASAP. Yep. Crypto millionaires. And then uh, uh, we got uh, Geek Anomaly. Skippy, what, what did I say? Do not question him, okay? 
Uh, we got PKTG. Uh, Skippy, forgive yourself. It's okay to be down bad now. That means you can only go up. Depression only exists when you're losing. Yep. Uh, Jennifer Grover. Hey, guys. I could tell Skippy is a good guy. I'm happy you guys are having him on. This is going to be good. All the best to him and, of course, you guys, too. And then 10 bucks. Right. Augie, if y'all think Myron went in on Skippy, you're naive. I've heard him do worse on Patreon. He's legit trying to help Skippy. Bro. Also, if you're I'm on line 443. If you're on Patreon, bro, <laughs> and you heard him. Dude, like, this is nothing. If you're on Patreon behind the scenes, bro, you're about to get your ass whooped. Yeah. All right? Yeah, I'd be yelling at dudes on Patreon. Uh, 20 bucks, unborn protocol. Because, yo, I have no no sympathy for, for guys that, like, want to sit and make excuses for their inadequacies, bro. Like, there's none. There's really none. Because there are they're kids that would kill to trade places with you. Uh, 50 bucks, Zentians. Skippy, I served in the U.S. Army, went through severe depression, changed career path twice. Thank you for your service. Now I'm a medical practitioner, make more than enough money, have no issues with women because I don't care if they're in my life or not. No reason or for excuses, okay? All right. And then uh, Nasir, uh, all the way from Saudi Arabia. If I wasn't bullied even from my own family, I would not have worked on myself and achieved a lot. FNF has wisdom, and we thank them for the wake-up call for Skippy. More success and power to you, FNF. Thank you. And then uh, 10 bucks, Moses. My, uncle's always, my uncle always said, Worry about controllables, not uncontrollables. Fix what you can. Don't cry about what you can't. FNF fam. Thank you so much. And then uh, please tell Skippy to read the power uh, now. It will cure his anxiety, depression, and overthinking. It will teach him what his thoughts really are. Skippy, have a good heart, but these women out here will literally eat you alive and pee on your corpse. Your future is filled with emotional and physical turmoil of which you can't imagine. If you want this, work hard, and that's from Unborn Protocol. So, uh, Skippy, what what do you, what's, you have? Oh, Red, you got some? Go I have a question. Sure. Um question do you believe in yourself <laughs> I, I i don't know how to answer questions uh, yes from here no. moving forward it's a yes or no that's the answer to that is no there are certain questions where if you ask them and the person doesn't know the answer is either absolutely yes or absolutely no so the, the answer to that is a no very simple i'm not going to attack you or anything it just leads on to my next explanation just because well my answer would be sometimes but yes or no so no i don't Okay, so that's, I feel like there's a lot stemming from there because, oh, never mind. I'll come back to it. <laughs> Same thing happened. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. Um, okay. So yeah, man, I mean, th I think the, the biggest thing here, Skippy, is we need to just reframe your mindset and look at things as, uh, look at the cup as half full <laughs> versus half empty. I've noticed that when you were saying, hey, well, I got this and this and this going on, I want you to start looking at what you do got going on and build from there. And yeah. uh, let's see here. Uh, I took some notes, so I'm just making going back, making sure I got everything here. Uh, oh, we got another one here. Oh, uh, on 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 the on the date, right? Some criticisms for the date. So, not that this is important because we got to get all the other things in place, right? Get your get you in shape, and then get you uh, get your um, get your money up. Mm -hmm. But when you, when you deal with women in general, and Nina was gave a good uh, explanation on this, complimenting girls without them earning it is 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 extremely detrimental. It's really bad because the way women are wired is women want a man that's better than them. You know what I'm saying? Period. Like women don't want their equal. That's why they want a guy that makes more money than them, taller than them, more muscular than them, etc. So when you over compliment a woman without her earning it, what you're what you're saying without saying it is you're better than me. I'm I'm blessed to be in your presence, and that is repulsive to women. Oh fuck. Okay, I'm so glad we watched this actually now. This is such a great example of the advice is 100% right, but he he got there in the worst way possible. You're like looking at fucking like, like some dudes fucking like, I, like you look at the homework, they got the right answer and they're doing like long division in like a like calculus problem. You're like, what is it? What do you, how did you even, and, but somehow they have like X equals seven. And you're like, yeah, that's, you got it. I don't know how, but um, the like, the problem with excessively complimenting somebody is because there's a fine line between, um, oh, I should organize my thoughts on this sometimes because all this stuff has mine. Uh, let me just write this down. Okay, when you're complimenting somebody, there's an important thing that needs to happen. The compliment needs to one, come from somebody that they respect, okay? Like if a, if a girl sees like a guy that she considers like a big loser and you compliment that girl, then the girl's like, okay, I don't really care that much, right? which kind of sounds similar to what he's saying. But number two, and the more important thing is that when you compliment somebody, um, and this goes to if you do this incorrectly, it hurts one. When you compliment somebody, the compliment should feel like you're telling them something that like looks nice or is nice, but you're not trying to do it to win approval. Um, 
I don't know how to like make this work in practice, but that is so fucking important. If I'm with somebody and I'm like, oh, like your hair looks really nice. It sounds like I'm saying it and they feel good because they feel like I feel it, but they never have the feeling like, he's just saying that because like he wants me to like him or he, he's just saying that because he's trying to get my approval, right? Like if you're, if it feels like you're baiting with compliments to make the person like you, instead of it being a compliment, it becomes the least attractive bait ever. And it's horrible. Um, so like compliments should be genuine because it keeps you from not making too many. And, and compliments should like be relatively limited such that your goal in doing a compliment is to, like make the other person feel good, not make the other person like you. You wanna compliment somebody because you wanna believe that your opinion about that thing matters, not you're trying to compliment them because you think that they're gonna become desperate or needy for your compliments and they'll like you more, if that makes sense. Um, like, yeah. <clears throat> make a comment, make a compliment, and then move on. Don't hang on it. Because women never wanna feel like there was someone that's lower than them. They always wanna- Wait. So someone in YouTube chat said, um, I just don't think any life advice should come in some hack based on how people think, like some philosophy cheat code, like trick your girl into thinking they need you. Yeah, exactly. Because the problem is that the reason why most of this stuff works is because like foundationally and fundamentally, it makes sense. Like, so if I go through like the whole like buildup of like, say um, somebody complimenting somebody, right? Or I'll just say me, say me complimenting girl, right? So this is somebody that won, they're on a date with me. So I already know they like me at least a little bit. They have to, if you don't like me, this isn't gonna work anyway. So I don't give a fuck, okay, fuck you. So one, they already like me, okay? So that's number one. So number two, if they like me, there's some amount of respect for me and they care about my opinion about them. We care a lot about the opinions of people that we like and respect. Okay, that is a huge thing for us. Um, it's why so many people spend their whole lives chasing the approval of their parents. Um, or it's why people really like to get compliments from peers or other people that they respect. Like, oh my God, you're so good at this thing and you say, I'm good at it? Like, that means so much to me, right? So you know that the person already likes you. You know that they already have some level of respect for you, right? So when you say something nice to them, you're like, you're engaging in, in, in some ways in a process of like building that person up. So they're like, wow. Like he says this thing is nice, that's cool, I respect that person, and it makes me really feel good to hear that type of thing. Like that's the process of a good, healthy compliment. Like that's how that whole interaction goes. Um, and then from my perspective, you know you're doing it because it shows that you're paying attention, shows that you've noticed something that they've hopefully put work into, um, and it shows that you're able to communicate like a kind word or thought because love languages are big and a lot of women work on um, words of affirmation or words of kindness or compliments or whatever, right? Now that's like, that, that, that system is like a healthy compliment, okay? Now on the other end, we've got, here's a girl, okay? Now, I don't know if she likes me or not, okay? Um, and I'm really insecure, um, but I'm gonna tell her that like, oh my God, your dress is pretty, uh, your hair is pretty, your eyes are pretty, and I'm gonna keep telling her all these things are pretty, and that's because like, she's gonna know that I'm saying like all these really nice things to her, and I think that by me saying all the nice things to her, it's gonna like make her like me more, um, because I'm just being so nice. Right, and these are like uh, th these are the problems with, like, you can kind of do the right things where it's like, oh yeah, tell a girl a compliment, yeah, but like, it can't just be a cheat code cheat sheet where you have this approach, and you're thinking, okay, if I say compliments, it's good on a date. I've read that. I know that's good. It's the compliment is like the tip of the iceberg. Um, the, the compliment is the easy part. It's making sure all the foundational stuff is in place first and then everything else will kind of like flow pretty naturally. Ugh, I don't know if that makes sense, yeah. Okay. Feel like they wanna be with someone that's higher than them. If someone is higher than them, they're not gonna compliment them unless it's deserved. And I always say, do you think this house guy is too foundationally gone or do you think you could convince him to change his mind on some things I better understand? I will never change somebody like this is mind um, because what he says probably works for him really well, and no amount of my preachy bullshit is going to change his real life experience. Because there are absolutely life hacks you can use, and you'll have success with some of them, and if you only have success one or two times, you're not gonna change the way you behave, fuck no. Hey, to sound fucked up, fucked up, but like with women, you gotta like sparingly give compliments. You gotta give it only when it's really earned and they're gonna value it more. You know, there tends to be this relationship between scarcity and value. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason why gold is expensive. There's a reason why uh, you know, silver, precious metals, whatever it is, it's because it's scarce to a degree. So you got to treat your compliments like that too with women. But that's way, way, that you know, that's way down the road. The biggest thing is we got to, um, we got to take the fitness series and then get you another form of employment. How many hours a week do you work? Uh, 25 to 30. That's unacceptable. You should be working at your, uh, right now, you don't have any kids, you don't have a family, you should be working 80 to 100 hours a week 
So you get yourself to a stable position where this hustle culture shit is also so cancer aid. It's such a stupid. Why, you, why would you drive yourself into the ground working 80 to 100 hours a week? There's so much better shit you can do with your time. You want this guy? Also, like, think of think of the prescription here too, right? Okay, hey, what's up, like, fat virgin guy at 43? Um, so here's your life advice, okay? You need to get your money up. You need to work 80 to 100 hours a week. You need to start going to the gym. You need to move out immediately. You need to fix your credit. You need to have, like, what the fuck? No, nobody's going to be able to take on 20 million things like this all at once. There's no fucking way. Like, Jesus. Where you're making, would you say that I should quit uh, YouTube altogether then right now? Because that's the only way that's going to happen. No, well, here's the thing. You need to get something. You need to get a job that gives you consistent income, right? That's, that's, that, that you can actually live on and you can save a bit of it. Then you're going to do the YouTube as well. But what you're going to do is you're going to do the YouTube as a side hustle to the point where, and we talk about this in one of our videos, how to, how to transition over from, uh, you know, from your main job over to your entrepreneurial venture. But you have to have certain things in place. But you got to do both. It's, it's going to suck. You're going to have very little free time. Yeah. You know, you're probably not going to have time to socialize like that. But this is a sacrifice you're going to have to make, especially now. Because right now, dude, you're 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 really late. You're really behind. So yeah. we got to we got to we got to go super hard. Yeah, Skippy, my first year in America, bro, I didn't date. I didn't go out. I just worked and I worked two jobs. Chick-fil-A, taking phone calls at at and that, that year, I worked like, Scientific I want to say I worked like achieved. 50 to 70 hours every single week. I didn't take any breaks off. I didn't go see visit family, none of that stuff. But at the end of that year, I had money saved up, had a lot more confidence. Uh, I, then the second year, I went going out with girls, going on dates. So that year, after I did that whole, like, you know, that period is when it went out. But for you now, you have to go out to square one, sacrifice in the meantime, and then come back stronger the next year. You need, you need to take literally like probably two to three years where you're going to just focus on getting money. And then like that money that you make, take a portion of it, obviously for your living expenses, keep your costs low, become a hardcore minimalist, which it seems like you are already, which is great. And then the extra money that you have gets invested into YouTube, better equipment, better cameras, better uh, lighting, whatever it is. So your content becomes better, get monetized on YouTube, and then you can slowly start to segue over into YouTube, but you don't quit your day job. We tell guys, don't quit your day job until you're making at least 1.5 to two times as much from your side hustle than your regular job. Look, but that regular job is going to be the funding source for your escape down I the look, road. YouTube isn't going anywhere, right? Only thing that might go somewhere is you and your future. So that that matters more. You had a question at all? Oh, course? I was just going to say, I am Skippy on YouTube if uh, anyone wants to go. Subscribe. Yeah, go subscribe, yeah, yeah, yeah. guys. Go subscribe. Him, right? Go subscribe go to his YouTube channel, I am Skippy. He's a good guy, trust me. Yeah, he's a good and guy. It's funny, right? I had an interview with Grant Cardone, right? And he kind of like told me the truth about me, about myself. He's like, you're, you're too nice. You're too straight cut. You're too much like yes or no. You need to be more, I want to say, risky and more like um, aggressive on what you want, right? And that whole experience, bro, it was tough because that was my idol telling me, "You're not gonna make it. Leave my office. You're not. You're not hiring." What's it again? Uh, Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone. But but that experience, it was like, damn, it hurt, but it made me who I am today. So this few bro is not like a bashing. It's more like, you know what? Here's some advice. Take it how you want to take it. But if you listen to it's it, it's an intervention, it, man. It could help you. Because it helped us. Because we, we were nerds, bro. Playing video games, kind of on the couch. I was kind of fat, doing my thing. But now, like from this uh, knowledge that, that we have right now, we're better men for it. And we help other men become better. You know as well. exactly where you're coming from, yeah. bro. Like, I was awkward as hell with girls, too. You know what I'm saying? We've been like, in your shoes, bro. Yeah, we've been in your shoes. So, yeah. like, that's why we can speak with such conviction on this topic because we yeah. were in your shoes. Granted, it wasn't when we were in our 40s, you know, but it was when we were in our uh, we, mid teens. It was definitely when we were younger, you know, all <laughs> yeah. throughout uh, teens and everything else like that. So, we, we know what it's like teenagers. to be awkward. We know what it's like to have that anxiety when you meet a girl. Yeah. We know what it's like to not know what to say. We know what it's like to when you, you get sweaty palms or you get sweaty when you're mm -hmm. around an attractive girl that you that you that you want to date or you whatever. You can't eat, you can't sleep, yeah. you can't right. do none of that. We, we, like... we know, we know what it's like to get picked on by somebody. Oh, you're a fucking loser, all that shit. Yeah, so I know where you're coming from, and I, my thing is. You got to make a conscious decision to change, man. And it's very obvious that you have it. Working only 25 hours, you know, uh, you know, doing this job that where you're not necessarily getting paid enough. It's the problem is that you're comfortable. Yeah. And I need you to get comfortable being uncomfortable, uncomfortable. instead of being comfortable being comfortable. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It I need does. you to literally okay. like if you are comfortable, you need to realize, fuck, I'm fucking up. You need to be uncomfortable at all times they get comfortable being uncomfortable okay that's when you're gonna I want grow. Skippy to ask a question to us and then we're gonna super chat and end the show so skippy think of a question you want to ask us on the panel girls as well uh that you want to hear and then we'll do super chats uh you want to do this first or you want to do it after uh we could uh 
Well, we, I'll read the super chats real quick because they're flying in. So, uh, so I think question. I know you guys had some, some, some points as well. You want to, um, yeah, I remembered. I need, I'm, so you want to write it down? I'm so tempted to just, yeah. Can we, can I say something while she writes something yeah, down? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, change your mindset for real, for real. Your confidence is a reflection of that. 30 hours, you could do more. You, you don't have to stop YouTube. There's people who make content and make no money off of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, this advice that you're receiving is not to break you, it's to build you. Yeah. People here want the best for you. And as you yeah. can see, not us just here at the panel, the audience is rooting for you. Yeah. Okay. okay. And right. you took everything really well. All right. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Super chats. Okay. Uh, we got uh, Keem I Am. Oh, wait. Shit. Okay. Keem I Am. 10 bucks. Skippy, bro. It's never too late to stay, is, stay blessed. Absolutely. Uh, that's the type of uh, advice from that brothers give to each other. Take the advice, Skippy. They are speaking facts. Thank you. Peter Lopez. Jason T. 50 bucks. Sk uh, Skippy. Film your fitness transformation and put on YouTube ASAP. It'll be inspirational and you will go viral. I know you can do it that bro, is true. for sure. That is true. People people want to see that. Inviting the waitress into the date video was actually a mistake. Asking her opinions put her on the spot and her opinions might potentially affect her tip. Your date felt embarrassed on her behalf. Yes. And and uh, Red actually That's pointed good. that out very well. That yeah. the, the, the waitress saw that there was an awkward situation and the female psyche, you know, the, the hive mind picked up on that and they worked together. Save me. Uh, Jose <laughs> Rodriguez. 10 bucks. Uh, Myron and Fresh are speaking facts. We want you to succeed, Skippy. You have proven that you can overcome obstacles by beating addiction. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's actually the hardest thing that yeah. most people yeah. can't that. beat that. Can't do it. You, you know what I'm that. saying? Like, uh, so, um, th and that's here. That's another reason why I'm going so hard on you. Most people can't beat addiction. If you beat addiction, you're telling me you can't go to the fucking gym? No, man. No, you've already done something way harder. So it's like, I can't accept anything less now because that's the hardest thing to do. You know, that literally kills a lot, of, a, a large portion of people. And the fact that you're able to come back from that, Bro, there's no excuse that you can't do anything else. Can I say something super quick about that? Sure. Um, I, <laughs> growing up a Mormon uh, who, like, I've literally tasted alcohol three times. And uh, my family also has a uh, history with addictions and things. And I know that if I were to taste alcohol, right, or, I mean, like, really drink alcohol, I'd get addicted and I'd become an alcoholic. Like, uh, members of my family have and have I burnt, right? And so uh, I just want to speak because I bet that there are some people out there thinking the same thing uh, that I am when you have been addicted to something that you're not true and you're like, hey, you've overcome it, but you don't feel like you've overcome it. You've Our just not done it yet for now almost four years. And uh, one of the really tough things about the first <laughs> three, three and a half of uh, those years, because I feel like the last couple months I'm getting... Uh, my crap together but prior to literally just the last like three months uh has been the fact that every day has been a struggle to not go back to it and uh i don't know just That's... the day that i didn't commit or the day that i attempted suicide and then uh and failed at failing till the point i killed myself was both a good day and a tough day because every day after that is it makes it sound so easy to say, hey, uh, you've overcome addiction, but you don't because you don't know until the next day that you've lived through uh, suicidal thoughts. All right, Skippy, Skippy, stop. You have overcome addiction. See how your mindset's fucked up? Oh, well, I, I haven't done it for, for four years. Uh, I, I think I kind of no, you did overcome it. You, you need to start looking at it from the pot. Your mindset is all fucked up, dude. You did overcome it. You haven't used it in four years. The problem is this. You have too much goddamn free time. Idle hands do the devil's work. 25 hours per week is not enough hours for you to be working. If you're busting your ass working, going to the gym, taking care of yourself, you, don't you wouldn't time. be thinking about this stupidity. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't. You yeah. would be too focused on, damn, I got to go to work. Damn, I got to go to the gym. Damn, I got to eat uh, Got to eat properly. Damn, I got to drink water. Okay, time to go to bed because I got to wake up early the next day. The problem is this, man. My coach always used to say this to me, and it's 1,000% true. Idle hands do the devil's work, okay? You have too much fucking free time to even think like this. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I overcame it because I still want to do drugs. You still want to do it because you have too much goddamn free time. You did overcome it. You need to look this. at you need to look at it as a W. It's not an L. It's a W. You overcame it. You haven't used it. Look at it as a W. And the more W's that you add to the W column, the more confidence you're gonna have. The more confidence mm -hmm. you have, the more you're gonna pursue other endeavors. The more you pursue these other endeavors, the more accomplishments you get. The more accomplishments you get, the more confidence you get. The more confidence you get, the more competence you get. See how it all builds upon each, each other. The problem is this, your foundation is fucked up because you don't look at wins as wins. You look at it as like, oh, I just skated by. It's oh, man, enough. I'm sad. I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. No, man, you overcame it. 
Look at it as a W. Put in W column, okay? Mm. Now, you need to go and work more hours. Have less free time. All right. Have less free time. Find a hobby. All right. Occupied. All right. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to let you come in here and say, oh, no, man, I don't know. Like, I kind of... No, you fucking overcame it. Look at it as a W. All right, uh, Skippy, learn to appreciate what you already have and visit the Philippines to find a wife. <laughs> I don't know about that. works, too. That works, too. Uh, electric relaxation. Skippy, there are... Oh, Skippy's not laughing anymore. Oh, no. He's been challenged. Ooh. Skippy's not happy here. Pains in life, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Your choice, what, uh, what one you can live with, Okay. Um, and then we caught up. Okay, a little bah. Excellent podcast here. Happy to see everyone come together for Skippy. Special shout out to Myron and Fresh for keeping it 100 and offering tangible solutions for Skippy. And it was nice that lovely ladies offered him a sweet feminine touch. Definitely. Okay, right. and then so BC. Myron, why didn't you have AMS on the show to ridicule you live? Uh, not making excuses for Skippy, but what you did today shows a lack of emotional intelligence. That was, this was meant to be private. Give Skippy a free package if you really care. Uh, Free SOBC, you don't know what's going to happen after, bro. We're going to have a full discussion about this. I, I kept it easy here, and the people wanted to hear it. So, exactly. So I don't know what, what, you're, uh, what you're trying to say there. So mm, whatever. The thing is this, bro. You, with, with guys, you got to be honest with them, bro, and that's what I'm doing. So uh, fuck you. Can't sugarcoat. Be shavy. Uh, Ten bucks. Stop talking so much on dates. Let the women talk. And every time you compliment a girl, imagine her throwing up in her mouth. You got to chill with that. We all used to be uh, you. It's time to glow up. Yep. And then Hollywood Superfly, for the end of the show, give him the 5K See you in six month challenge. P.S. This is the Virgin Mary single yet. Okay. And then uh, Morning Star. Twenty, 20 bucks. bucks. I took a herbal called Ashawanga. It works for reducing stress and anxiety by reducing cortisol levels in the brain. It causes depression. Cortisol lowers testosterone, which is everything. Yeah. Why does that sound like a psychedelic? No, don't take Ashwagandha, no. bro. That sounds that's like a it. drug. I mean, that's 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 that sounds that like that. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, 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 I wouldn't so, so, so like, like ayahuasca or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't. That's no, what man. it is. Psychedelic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Okay, good. Oh, okay, uh, okay, Skippy. Good. Skippy, come last on. Last thoughts on the show. Right, Skippy. Any last questions? Here we go. Oh, uh, just for the fun of it, because like it got really serious after uh, the date portion, and I don't want you guys to think like, especially with you, like the things that you're saying, right? I need to hear, and uh, and it's literally the reason why I asked the question before we started. Like, what's the best way? to take the what's coming because you all knew what was coming i didn't know that that's what's coming but i i also want to do my best to take it in a way that it will uh that it will sink in right and so i hope that you don't think that just because of how i've reacted to you doesn't show my appreciation for it because just the fact that i'm here it's fine man is, don't, I, 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 I is get awesome it. I and get i do it. want to work on it and i don't want you to think that my reaction is blowing you off, right? But, it's tough to be in my shoes today for this, but it's uh, awesome awkwardness that I feel of uh, taking all of it. And when it comes at you all at once, I don't think that there's a perfect way for me to have responded that would be mm -hmm. uh, that Ideal. wouldn't that wouldn't get I, criticism. I think, you took it, I think you took it very well. Yeah, I, I honestly think you took mm -hmm. it very well. I tried to, and I apologize if it came off as me being uh, too defensive. I really am thankful for everyone being here. I mean, like, right. even if you guys are here to promote your Instagram channels, I love that you guys were here. <laughs> yeah. No, and, and I seriously mean that because this is such a cool experience. Right. So you ask the question of uh, what would. <laughs> Going back to the lighthearted thing, um, if I could ask you guys a question, it would be, will, uh, can I interview you over Zoom or bring me back to let me interview guys in a fun, lighthearted way kind of thing? Yeah, and, in the future, yeah. And, yeah. And not like but you, so you got to do the work first. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I so. want, yeah. In fact, that would be a good thing of like, hey, uh, lose 10 pounds and we'll let you uh, interview Show us. Show us your progress. Like that. Uh, something like that. And then uh, for the ladies, I would ask them, uh, when was the last time that you went on a date with a guy that uh, that was really nice but might be considered a beta by some? Or do you guys <laughs> just not? Because uh, oh, no. it's not the whole nice, nice guys finish last because they've got to also have a spark. And I think that with girls that I date also, like when someone says to me, oh, I've got the perfect girl for you. She's about your height and about your weight. And I'm like, that's how you pick the perfect skippy, wrestling skippy, partner, skippy, not skippy, the perfect uh -oh. skippy, partner. Skippy, skippy, skippy. Right now, you got other stuff you got to prioritize. Fuck oh, women no. right now, dude. Like you, you got, you, you, yeah. 
you're in a state of emergency. You come first. You you gotta you gotta you gotta focus on you right now. Sorry, I was just trying to ask a lighthearted last question because they had me answer ask. his question though, because the <laughs> oh, last time man. that I went on a Skippy's date getting... with a guy and it was just something that I was like, no way in hell this guy is getting a second date or I would even consider him <laughs> even to have a friendship with. He kept mentioning things that he felt were his failures. He kept bringing mm. up about how he just got fired from his job. He kept like bringing up that he didn't have much money and that he was a broke college student and that he, if he didn't, if he was worried about an interview that he had coming up and he was saying that if he didn't get that interview that he would have to uh, go back and live with his parents. And those are things that completely repulsed me because as a man, you have to show confidence. You have to show that, you know, you're the, you're the. Yeah. 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 Nina, you thank you so wheel. much for that. See, see, see what happened there. So the guy didn't have the confidence. Sure. Goes on a date, not prepared for it. Show his inadequacy show glaringly. And she says, I'm not going out with him again. So what yeah. did the guy effectively do? He wasted his time. You got to show that you're yeah. in control of your life and yourself. Mm. Skippy, here's, here's, the, here's, here's, here's a path. Here's a path. Competence leads to accomplishments, which then leads to confidence. Once you have that confidence, oh, then you man, can dude. apply that when you meet other people, you go out and meet women, because now you're going to actually be in a position where you're not going to be tolerated. You're going to be appreciated. Yeah. yeah. The problem is this. Women just tolerate you right now. Yeah. Red, you got some? Um, I know you had written down some stuff. Yeah. Okay. So but you don't know. No, no. Yeah. Oh. Wait, I don't, wait. I don't oh, want. Gosh. No, no, no. No more. No more. Skippy. <laughs> Last thing here for you, right? Well, <laughs> I want to say this. Oh, man. So this being said. Shut right? down. Right? I'm glad you came on the show. Thanks. Right? You're not a bad guy. But we give you advice today, right? Yeah. You have a choice to make. Mm -hmm. You know who you are. You know what mm -hmm. you want. Either you take it or you leave it. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Cool. Can I just answer his question really no, quick? Well, hold on. Because if, if fresh pause, red, then yeah, I'm pause you. Yeah, because we got to actually end the yeah, show. End and show. I think Skippy had enough. Yeah. Um, Super chats real quick. Jesus. And then we're going to close this uh, up. Um, and by the way, shout out to you guys for Super Chat, by the way. So. Yes. That was incredible, you guys. That was amazing. This was like an awesome mind episode. opening. Yeah. Well, and that Super way. Chat paid the entire trip out here. Uh, okay, Skippy, take it. People pay thousands for life coaches, and you're getting it for free from yeah. people who lived and breathed uh, yep. what they are saying. Oh, thank you so much. And that's from uh, Ben's. Uh, Morel for all. I can't wait for Skippy to become super successful after this. Let's go. And then uh, yeah, 20 bucks, Thanks. Darius Diamond. Uh, one thing that needs to be highlighted, though, bro, as far as the gym, you're not going to take it serious unless you genuinely want to put yourself in that mindset. Also, don't do it for nobody but yourself, bro. You got it. Bam. And that's from Darius. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Cool. Uh, okay. So um, I guess we're going to we're gonna end it right here. Yeah, we're going to end it here. Guys, do us a quick um, uh, favor and like the video. So, guys, we got another show at, like, around, like, 11.15. Um, so, yeah. Great show, guys. Uh, go follow all the girls on the panel. Red, Bianca, um, Cardi C, and Nina. <laughs> I'll follow as well. And Skippy. the ladies are going to give the advice behind the scenes yes. for him. And yes. Skippy as well on his YouTube channel. I'm Skippy and also on Instagram. Follow my man, Unplugged Fit. Me, Fresh Prince CEO. Behind the camera, Aaron C. Pogson. Shout out to y'all in the chat, man. Fresh and Fit, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you're at. Peace. <laughs>